Yo, what's up, Jordan? How you doing? We're gonna be starting here in a little bit. It'll give me a few minutes.
All right, let's get this marathon started. Ayame! It is the age of the warring states. The old shogun has fallen, and samurai warlords fight savage battles for the right to hoist their flags over the great castles of Japan. But far from the battlefield, unseen and unheard, a different breed of warriors ply their deadly trade. Born in shadow, they will die as shadows. They are the ninja. have learned much, but I would expect that from one raised from childhood to be an Azuma ninja. Now it is time to complete your training. Come into my house. There's a big fly in my room. Are you ready, Ayami? Oh, I was really? born ready. <laughs> we shall see. <gasps> Come back when you can survive as a ninja. I have a fly swatter? No, I don't. I need to get my shoe. Smash the thing. I mean, I want to turn. I was gonna say, damn. You're in that corner for a long time, bruh. I kind of figured he was going to do that. Oh. 
Ja. I figured I was going to catch my wings. That's fine. I was thinking maybe, but no. Survive the training. You are now an Azuma ninja, Ayame. But you still have much to learn. That's great. I mean, thank you for the honor. Mountain bandits are hiding in an abandoned village near here. When night falls, you must chase the bandits away. But, Master, bandits? They're filthy. Have you ever smelled one? Ick! Ayame. Just kidding. I'm going. When Does Meryl, Meryl ever say eek? I think she does. Uh... We're gonna do that, and then, I mean, we're just running through, just doing a bunch of stealth kills, so, yeah. Say what? Stop coming over here. Right? I love the blowgun. So nice. Pretty little flower among the weeds. 
You're the head idiot around here, aren't you? I am the mighty Boron. I lead the mountain bandits. Knew it. Huh? How? I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. See the fire in her eyes. That's not what I want to do. Bam! You had to be in charge because you stink worse than the others. Yo, seven ricks. Think you got your name right? Welcome. The senior Lord Goda's death launched a vicious struggle for power, a series of battles and betrayals worse than any in Japan's blood-stained history. How? Lord Goda left all the power and glory of his title, the riches of his empire, to his son, Matsunoshi. But Lord Goda's brother, a man named Motohide, believed himself to be the empire's rightful heir. Motohide was able to bribe certain samurai to his side you're welcome. and immerse the empire in civil Hope war. Hope you're doing good. Goda you're comfortable. family advisor, Sekia Nobutaka, responded the only way he could. He called for the Azuma to kill that fly. While I'm doing a marathon, I'm all chasing a fly around my room. What are you two doing here? My students, rebellion has broken out in the house of Goda. Our honorable Lord Goda is in danger from his own uncle, Sire Motohide. If the Lord we serve falls to a dishonorable traitor, we, Azuma Ninja, will stand for nothing. Go to Goda Castle and protect Lord Goda with your lives. This is the ancestral sword, Izayui, the spirit of the Azuma Ninja. Tatsumaru, it is yours. Today, you replace me as Master Ninja. May honor guide your hand. Master, what? No! The powerful must know when to pass along their power. As you three graduate to new roles, I also ascend. Very well, I hope Yes, Master. Here to help. Oh, thank goodness. His lordship is still inside. So are Lady Kay and Princess Kiku. Let's go. Ayame, find Lady Kay and the princess. Rikimaru, come with me. We must rescue Lord Goda.
drop one leaf, do this, and... Yeah, sure. I'll just take that every time. We'll do the minip on Genbu. I'll try and finish off with a dragon's breath. Oh shit. Wait. Okay, did I just confuse myself? Damn it, I did. Okay, now I know where I'm at. I hate this level because I usually get myself confused. Do I ever finish similar games on PS2 like Shinobito, Red Ninja, Same Suit, I made some of them? I've heard of them and I've seen them, but I've never played them. I wouldn't mind playing them because I've never like played it. And I've heard Shinobito's good. I heard Red Ninja's freaking hard. But I wouldn't mind trying them out. Lady K. Motohide, you'll pay for that. Another ninja brat. I'll teach you how to speak to your betters. Wait for Genbu! Genbu sneaks in now! <laughs> Finally! Where are the rest of Lord Toda's no, ninjas? Water, Genbu, sorry, sire <coughs> Motohide. Genbu will beat up little girl for you. Good. <coughs> is a messy and embarrassing death. What's being mean to the boss, Missy? You want to fight? You fight Genbu, master of ninja sneaking. What a shame. You looked so much better with the mask on. Ah. We can drink the water and went down the wrong hole. <clears throat> Should be real sweet and it has a funny ragdoll system. Yeah. I've seen those, uh... Nope. Kind of? Okay. I've seen those uh, bodies flying everywhere. 
I'm not hitting this guy twice. There we go. No! Wow. I thought you move up. You trickster. Kenbu is strong. <coughs> Kenbu is unbeatable. But today, Kenbu must be <clears throat> away. Nice girl, little help here. What? Get lost. <sighs> ah! Thanks, nice girl, for not killing Gunbu. Lady K. Ayame. Yes. My Ayame. A ninja. <coughs> My lady, don't try to speak. I'll get help. Wait. Take these. Please take care of Kiku. <clears throat> Ayame. Moto Hide murdered Lady K, and he kidnapped Princess Kiku. I'm going after her. Motohide. Welcome to my war camp. Greetings, Lord Tota. Regrettably, my nephew still lives. However, with my expert swordplay, I wounded him severely. And I kidnapped his daughter. Assign me two divisions of your troops, and I'll finish the job. I know I failed, but please... If I lead your troops today, I promise that my flag will fly over Gota Castle tomorrow. I believe you. But if I lead my troops today, then my flag will fly over Gota Castle tomorrow. Yes, that was Kiku's mother what are you that, talking that about? died. You said we. Ah! The wine of victory is sweeter when you don't have to share it. <laughs> you. You lied. Have you no honor? Silence! I have not betrayed my master. I am the Lord. The only master that I serve is me. <laughs> Liar. Put the princess in the shed. I do not want her damaged. She will come in very handy when I order Lord Goda to surrender. <laughs> so much for promises, a proper coward's death. If my first priority wasn't saving Princess Kiku, I'd kill Toda right now for fun. an apprentice girl what was that all about so <clears throat> i don't remember my grandmaster strats here so kind of remember i don't remember where everyone is and this is one of those levels where if you get caught game over
So we're going to do a speedrun strat here. Sister's bells. What's your name? Ayami. Here, this bell is for you. What? My mommy made these bells. She made one for me and one for you. She said that the bells would help us become like real sisters. No. Oh. Sounds like sword fighting. <gasps> What's going on? Can we go see? Kiku, brave girl, you're the best. Oh no! Rikimaru, protect Princess Kiku. Three months have passed. Goda Castle was saved by a well-timed rain shower, just as the house of Goda was saved by the Azuma Ninja. While loyal subjects repair the castle, Lord Goda recovers from his wounds in the Azuma Ninja village. All seems well, but the village's heart is heavy, for there has been no news of Tatsumaru. Ayame, kidnappers have been taking our villagers to a deserted island. Can I count on you to investigate? Of course, my lord. Helping people is not really my idea of a good time, but orders are orders. She literally swam, swam to a different island. This woman knows freaking. So this is thinks she's played some water polo. What a dump. Oh! 
Is this from my way? Eh, it doesn't matter. I didn't mean to do that. That's funny. <gasps> That's also funny. Ayame is shorter than these guys, and she's like scratching the hell out of their chest. Stuff killing this thing. Let's see. Yeah, I I need to kill four more people, and I would have got Grandmaster there. Move now. Hmm. Those are the villagers, but where are they taking them? Yeah, for that stealth kill, how you pretty much activate it is one or two ways. One is if you're, you know, everyone's fine. No one's caution, and then we're also going to fight the guys. So we'll take that, and we'll take armor, because this guy should actually be a bitch. But how uh, that self-kill works is that either you could bump into them, and then they get caution for a little bit, so purple key. And then if they spot you just for a second... Well, we're doing the CD percent style. That's kind of like autopilot mode there. So, and if they spot you, like, for like a second, you have like one second window, I would say, the least to pull off that stealth kill. So it's like a stealth kill. That it's like, as soon as they spot you, you can do it, and it cancels out the spot. Hmm. 
should be a. S there should be someone on that tower. Yeah, for Rikimaru, it's the one where he breaks the bones. Actually, this is a good spot. Aw, he's walking away. Nope. You suck. Oh, by the way, didn't know about Tenchu 2. You could also loot, which that's good RNG, a grenade and a blow dart, and Aww. The only intention too, and pretty much how you do it, is that you just press the crouch Hot button bad person. on you their dead body. Like you gotta do it around their die. stomach chest area. Oh, hot bad person yourself. You dare make slaves of Ayami's people? And you'll know if you did loot them. If you hear, hear a sound like goes or something like that, that means that they don't have anything. This guy would be really bad if I let him. Well, okay, that one. That happened. As you can see, the grenades are not very well. Quit whining. What a sore loser. Hey, nice little girl. <laughs> Sneaky Ninja Genbo sneaks up on you again. <laughs> no fair running away. Oh, not again. Out of my way, Ignoramus. <laughs> my name's not Goramus. It's Genbo the Wise. One of the four lords of the Burning Dawn. You mean Gembu the drooling idiot, one of the four idiots of Idiot Land? No, don't you make fun of my new name from Lady Kagami. Kagami? Lady Kagami is a great uh, um, lady. She's gonna make a world just for us ninja, like in her dream for us. Gimbu's hand is as big as Ayame's head. Real nice, and I bet she'd let you join. Oh, please. Unlike you losers, I don't need to live in someone else's dream. I've got dreams of my own. Well, then, if you won't join, 
and I won't let you join. And I'll beat you up with my sneaky ninja moves. You can't find me! Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. Burning Dawn? Lady Kagami? A world for ninja? Nah, who cares? He's just some drunken bumpkin. They said you wanted to see me right away, my lord. What's up? The Quarantine Village is under attack. I need you there right away. Quarantine Village? Where's that? It's a village I created to isolate people suffering from contagious diseases. You isolated them? Yes, but I had no choice. The disease was spreading quickly. What should I have done? I couldn't just kill them. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. I'll go check it out. And... No, he's on this side. Over here. Should be right, right here. That sound right there, if you hear that, he doesn't have anything. He's right above me. Like, on the house above me. Don't... <laughs> There you are. Hi. How do you drag them? You got to have your weapons sheathed, crouch, and then hold square, I think. Or circle. But you got to have your weapons sheathed. Tatsumaru! It is you! I knew you weren't dead! I just knew it, but 
What are you doing here? They're the enemy. And who's that woman? Oh, it is so good to see you. Uh, do I know you? Ha, very funny. You big jerk. No, I've never seen you before in my life. What do you mean? It's Ayami of the Azuma Ninja. Come on, Tatsumaru. Look, I don't know any Tatsumaru. I'm Seiru, Lord of the Burning Dawn. Goodbye. Wait, please, don't go. Lord Seiru, we'll deal with this little nuisance. Very well. Tatsumaru! Not so fast, girl. We'd like a word with you. We are the servants of the Burning Dawn. <laughs> oh, shut up! my way Ninja Village. Tatsumaru have forgotten his oath to the master, and how could he not remember me? I was gonna say my head was poking out there, so if he was actually looking my way, I would have been screwed. Should be somewhere across from me. Somewhere? 
There she is. Because I'm on a... Ah. <clears throat> that only works if you're on a flat land. <laughs> that kind of sucks. So there you are. Must be around here somewhere. Well, that was the one I was going to do the leaves on. Tatsumaru! What a stubborn little girl. When you arrive in hell, let everyone know Lady Kagame sent you. So you're Kagami, the one with the drooling idiot followers. How did you add Tatsumaro to your pack of losers? You insolent brat! I will skin you alive! What are you doing? You let her provoke you. Forgot the dream. I will handle her. No, she's just a child. She cannot provoke me. She... she... You're right. I lost control. Shamed myself. You deal with her. But be careful. Remember your wound. Come home to me safely, Sairu. Tatsumaru, did you kill Master Shiyunsai? Tell me it's not true. That old man was your teacher? He was your teacher, too. He was like a father to us. Have you really forgotten everything? Can't you remember any of it? All that time we spent together. It wasn't real? Is that what you're saying, Tatsu? When I grow up, I'm gonna marry you, Tatsu. And we're gonna live happily ever after under a big, beautiful cherry tree. Tatsu. 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 Ayame. Your name is Ayame. Ayame, you must forget about me. Tatsumaru is dead. There is only Seiru now. But you got your memory back. It can be like it was again. No, it can't. Why? Why? Because that's the way it is. If we meet again, I will kill you. Tatsumaru killed Master Shiyunsai. I must avenge his death. I won't let you kill Tatsumaru. Ayame, I must. He killed the master. No, I will kill Tatsumaru myself. What? But... Oh, I see. You're not seeking vengeance. You act from a state of pure selflessness. Come on, Semimaru. Take us to Tatsumaru. Alright, so this one has one of the toughest, well, the toughest boss for Ayame, so I gotta go full blown out boss mode here. And then I could take... Not really much to take against this boss.
Let's see the shadow. Yo, Dr. Servbot with Apollo. Thank you. Hope you're having a good one. I am lost where this guy's at. Probably behind me. Uh oh. Yep. Oh, wait. Whoops. <laughs> Lost them all in the forest. Hey, well, okay. All right, here we go. Come out, show yourself. Your senses are sharp for a human. of the burning dawn. What's that? I agree. Rejoice, woman. He has taken a liking to you. You will have the honor of being eaten by Chiru the Magnificent. As for you, unsavory man, you will have to settle for being killed by me. Might have to step out for a minute. My alarm system is uh, kind of telling me something. It's nothing bad. It's just it, the battery's low. Or one of the places that my going is low. And I can to go beep, beep. Yami fighting the tiger and Mikimo gets to fight the guy. Such a gentleman.
Are you okay, Semimaru? Good boy. You are so tough, Semimaru. <laughs> Ayame, you guys okay? Come on, let's get going. Yeah, that's one boss that could ruin your speedrun, and the only thing that you have for a speedrun is shurikens. You don't have armor, so I would have been dead a long time ago if I didn't have the armor. Uh, is he walking? Crap. Just do this. Them dropping blow darts is really godlike RNG because blow darts are just so good. If no one notices you, it's blow darts are just a one shotter. Be right back. I gotta check something. What kind of ship is that? Almost finished. The most powerful warship in history. Finally, my dream becomes real. A world ruled by ninja. Exactly. We'll no longer be forced to hide in the night like thieves. We will decide how we live and how we die. Lady Kagami! Stop shouting! I'm talking to Sadie. I'm sorry, Lady Kagami. What do you want? There is an intruder in the cave. Probably an Azuma ninja. Great. That's all we need. Listen up. We're moving the schedule forward. Prepare to launch the ship immediately. Our first target? Goda Castle. Yes, my lady. Seiru, do you know why we're going to destroy Goda Castle? Okay, we're good. Our sole purpose in life has been to serve in the endless war between Toda and Goda. But now, Toda is gone. Goda is the only thing standing between us and freedom. If we are ever to cast off the chains that have shackled our spirits for generations, then Goda must be destroyed, no matter what the cost. Now come on, it's time to board the Fire Demon. 
we stand at the dawn of a new era. I'll warn the castle. You stay with the ship. Agreed. Lady Kagami sails her massive warship, Fire Demon, toward Goda Castle. The floating fortress's great cannon, Fireball, gleams darkly in the moonlight as it takes aim at Goda Castle. They are not going to hurt Kiku. Okay, so for the bosses, done. And then... Wait, is the other guy going to see me? Please don't. Wait, oh, no, I see him. I see him. He's in the shadows. Bye! This is on hard. Because if this was on easy, he wouldn't even give it. He does. If it's on easy difficulty, they do not notice dead bodies. But if it's on hard, they notice dead bodies.
<laughs> I literally just guessed that too. I was gonna say someone's really close to me. And still someone's really close to me. Yo, Silent Screams, welcome. You haven't seen this in years? Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Stop, nice little girl. You having girl. a great Friday? Gembu protects Lady Kagami. Oh, Gembu, look at what she's doing. She's not worthy of your protection. Everybody says, Gembu, you big dumb oaf. And everybody laughs. But Lady Kagami says, Genbu, you did good. She treats me like she treats all the other ninja. I feel warm inside when she talks to me. She's worthy of Genbu's protection. I'm doing well. Comfortable. Enjoying and the marathon. In Gota Castle it's going very well so far. Then I guess we really fight this time. Yeah, we really fight this time. True fact here, this is one of the toughest bosses in Tenchu series because one, he has the highest HP than any other boss in the Tenchu series. Two, he actually has a really high damage output if he actually gets off his combo. He'll do about 75 or 79 damage if you let him go crazy. Whoops. Uh oh. You should not have poison. Oh, wait, you only. Yeah, that's right. Bosses only get poisoned once. Yes, this also had a uh, level editor, a mission editor. Very nice one. Sorry, Lady Kagami. Nice girl. What's your name? Ayami. Yes, that's the speedrun strat Ayame. for Ayami's uh, nice boss name. strats. Except for the tiger, of course. But basically, you get behind him, do a back attack, do a dash, back attack, rinse and repeat. Her back attack does 25, and if you do a good dash attack, it does about... Uh, no, not 50? Does a good amount of damage. Goodbye, Gembu the Wise, no, Lord 50. of the Burning 36, Dawn. 40 maybe? Yame, don't you remember what I told you? Then you know I must kill you. Oh, you're right. We will fight, but you won't kill me. I want Tatu Maro to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Tatu Mar. To do a full combo here because I want you guys to see his fighting style. Well, it'd be a while, but still. Combo me! Okay, so remember that combo there. Alright. Be 
be right back. Go ahead and enjoy the end credits, guys. And we're going to hear a little bit of the credits music because the OST and the Tenchu credits are... Mm. Be right back. Enjoy! Unforgivable crimes must be punished. The traitor must die. So Tatsumaru's lore is he was the leader of the Izumi Ninja clan, fought against Kagame, then during the fight he fell off a cliff with Kagame. Kagame saved him, but he got amnesia in the end. And from there, Kagame helped him recover and got him to join her clan, which uh, pretty much told him, well, your name is this now. And then while Ayame and Tatumaru got together and started talking, Tatumaru remembered what happened. Archers, and so he always branded himself a traitor because he killed off his own clan. Ayame, you made it. I'm going to become strong, so no one can ever take away anything I care for. I understand. What will you do now? I wish only to serve Lord Goda. Good. I'm going with you to go to castle. I'm glad. I have someone there worth dying for and worth living for.
if you pay attention to the credits and you actually know some voice actors, some names will actually pop up here that are very familiar. Some from the Metal Gear Solid series. You are correct, Jordan. Ayame's voice actor is played by Meryl. Colonel Campbell is uh, Zuma Shiensei. Gray Fox is also in here, but he's not in Ayame's story. He's in Rikimaru's. Is Suzeku. Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2 is in here. I think that's all from the Metal Gear Solid. The voice actor who plays Raiden plays Tatsumaru. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know that some of the Metal Gear Solid casts, here are the voices right here. Ta wait. Okay, hold on. I know for a fact, where's his second? Greg Eagles, that's, oh, there he is. Wang Jai, Quentin Flynn. Okay, I'm sorry, Tatsumaru isn't paid by writing. It's the boss, the scimitar boss. What? Wait, that doesn't, no. No. Do the, do the credits have a miss, Prince? I think the credits have a miss, Prince. Because Tatsumaru is played by Quentin Flynn, which is the voice actor of Raiden. And he also plays... He also does voice acting for Tatsumaru and Wrath of Heaven. Is there any in uh, Time of the Assassins? I don't think so. Anyways, let's move on to Tenchu 1. Yo, J Dot. Yes. The voice actor who does Tatsumaru is Raiden. Be back and use the restroom. You're very welcome, Jordan. 
Yeah, I don't think most of the Metal Gear Solid player speedrunners and all don't even know that at all. It's very like, unless you've played Century 2 quite a bit, you would know. I would think. All right, Tenchu Stealth Assassins, let's go. Wealth is one thing, power and status is another. Many in the merchant class have become rich, but the merchant class is a large step below nobility. Merchants, no matter how wealthy, cannot become samurai. This caused many merchants to lust for the power they were officially denied, few more so than a man named Ichigoya. Ichigoya began his career as an honest trader, but before long his rivals began to turn up dead, and Ichigoya expanded into protection, loan sharking, and gambling. His methods are brutal, his profit vast. If arrested, Ichigoya would simply bribe his way free, you must make him pay for his crimes with his life. Actually, I know where to throw this. Well, over there. Oh, okay. Come on! 
on, come on. <laughs> Man. What? Who are you? You've been a bad boy. It's payback time. Somebody help! Get her! Get her! It looks like you chose the wrong party to crash. I have come for Ichigoya, but I guess I have to deal with you first. <laughs> I wish she could run outside so we could have all this room, but okay. That was my fault for letting him push him push me mm. outside. Now where did that letter soul goat go and hide himself? Bye. He's like right there. Stupid tree. Windows. I was like, can we see him? Get away! Help me, somebody! It's just you and me now. Die. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh, too close. Still too close. Okay. My money. My money. You won't need it where you're going. A large and well-organized group of outlaws intends to attack Lord Goda's territory. You have stolen a copy of their plans. If these plans are delivered to Lord Goda, his forces will crush the outlaws at little cost. Without the plans, Lord Goda faces a brutal fight. The enemy has sent a group of ninja to the town outside your lord's castle to stop you from delivering the plans. Elude or destroy these enemies and get the plans to Lord Goda. I don't care what. This message is getting through. Oh, I was hoping there was someone there. Someone over here? Doggy. Uh, no, it's not fun. 
want some are you to actually attack someone. Where are you going? Are you trying to see me? I find you. Uh, is my dog going to attack it? Hello? So are you? Are you tired? Poor dog, you ran out of breath. Really? Already? Well, that kind of shows how uh, the dog bone is in this game. So what I did there was called a infinite super jump. If you actually time your jumps right and at a certain frame where Ayame and Rikimaru are about to finish their super jump, if you press jump again, they'll do another super jump. And if you time that one again, they'll do another one and another one. As long as you get the timing down, they will always do super jumps until something stops them or if... Uh, you mess up on your timing. Sorry, I stopped for some refreshment. <laughs> you have done well. Come, Lord Goda is waiting for you. One of Lord Goda's ninja was captured while undercover in a hostile territory. The missing ninja is in a torture chamber deep under a dangerous forest. With orders to immediately Thanks, free Jordan. the captive, Lord Goda has released you from the ninja code, how... which forbids Who... rescues. Who discovered you that? Must free the captive was and quickly. Someone in the Tenchi community. I forgot who. Uh, so I'm gonna show off a new game plus new game plus runs. I find a lot much more fun Because you have all This to use because in order to unlock all these items you must have Grandmaster on each levels so you know Show off a little bit of speed running here Ah, the wall. Oops. Oh, I really wish I had a mind for this. Damn. It's fine. Oh. 
Jeez. Yeah, this one's supposed to be Archer. Did I just get caught? Oh, he's on the left side. Nice. The mice come out to play. That means you get to play too. You're repulsive. Hurry up and die. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. Who are you? I am Monica. I shall eventually come for Koda and your head. Until then, become a more worthy opponent for me. <laughs> you weren't supposed to do this. And let you die? You can thank Lord Goda for bending the rules. I am in his debt. Years of bloody civil war have ended in a fragile truce. It is a time of peace, but the threat of attack is constant. Death and destruction is the price for complacency. Ever vigilant, Lord Goda sent you to spy on suspicious movement in a potentially hostile neighboring territory. Lord Goda's worst fears are true. This neighbor intends to attack with an army of 20,000 men. Lord Goda must be informed. You rush back towards his territory under the cover of darkness. Near the border, you come across an enemy checkpoint. There is no way around it. You must get through the checkpoint and deliver your report. Uh, what do I usually take? Oh, my Grandmaster here. Nope. Yeah, let's do that. Show off how strong this fire breath is. Please stop, right where you are. You seem to be in great haste for such a late hour. Where are you going? It's a beautiful night. You should be looking for a boyfriend, not playing with your dad's weapon. How dare you speak to me like that? I'll teach you some manners. I have failed. Hmm. If what is that ocarina at the bottom right? That is a decoy matters, whistle. Pretty much what it does is now, if do the is enemies are in caution, purple key, and they're looking for me, once I use that whistle, like like now, if I use it now, he's back to normal. So it's an easy way for you not to wait for them to be in caution, and they automatically just go back to regular. Is this a source? Uh, I can't get up. 
It's a bit. It is. Told you too, you can find the weapons by exploring the level, right? Uh, what weapons? Tentu 2, you don't get any extra weapons. You only get loots from, uh, dead enemies. Tentu 3 is when it starts, when you start having, uh, grabbing weapons from the guards. Even after having just seen a dead body, yes, it automatically just boom puts them back to normal. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, in Tenchu 2, you could find the blow darts almost every other item besides special items like. The camo, the leaves, dragon's breath, armor. Besides those, like you could find a grenade, you could find the blind, a mine, rice ball, potion. Yeah, those you could find. They're they're scattered. Is this the one with the dog? Oh no, this is a worse layout for me. It is son of a. Good doggy. Good doggy. Go over here, doggy. Oh, bad doggy. Okay, so a little fact about Tenchu games. If beasts, and I'm saying beasts because there's more than just dogs. If beasts spot you, you're not considered a, a spot. I would say that Time Assassins has even smaller draw distance than Tenchu 1. I don't know. <laughs> oh snap. Wait. Fall down? No, you're good. Despawn the guy. So yeah, there's a mechanic in this game called despawning. Put him back, please. Think. Would you, game? See, there's a guard over there, right? <laughs> please don't come over here and spot the body. What genre of music was this? O OST? I uh, don't know. Don't. Ah, you. Wow. Well, I'm glad with this guy we could show you guys the despawn mechanic. Do I have another guy behind me? Gosh darn it, really? I'm just gonna move over here real quick, buddy. Come over here. Come here. Cool. Anyways. Yeah. 
there's a despawn mechanic what? where we girl like you are still trying to figure that out. I just gave her a little lesson in manners, and you're next. No, in today's lesson, you'll learn how a Miljin Soga master uses swords to avenge his sister. <laughs> Uh oh Whoops Tazu I cannot avenge you Dear sister I failed as a brother And as a warrior Brother and sister, huh? Your parents must not have done a very good job Beer back. I gotta make my son uh, lunch real quick. Following his death, Ichigoya's ledgers were thoroughly examined. The investigation revealed a link between the merchant and a man called Kataoka, Lord Goda's finance minister. Kataoka is abusing his position, accepting bribes in return for assigning city construction projects and similar favors. Kataoka happens to be the son-in-law of Sekia, one of Lord Goda's most trusted advisors. Lord Goda knows the truth and could have Kataoka arrested, but does not want to bring unbearable shame on Sekia. Understanding his master's dilemma, Sekia has decided to resolve the matter himself and orders you to execute the corrupt finance minister. All right, back. Yo, -ho, Ninja, thank you. Appreciate it, my man. Uh, what are we doing again? Oh yeah, show off that armor. <laughs> Guessing those uh. Guys decided to come in. Minister Kataoka sure likes his money. 
That's a really nice sword there you got Watch there, J-Dot. this, Bizenia. There is more here than usual. We could not do business without you. <laughs> the money is merely a token of our appreciation. I like the way you think. What can I help you with today? We have put in bids for the construction work next month. Wrath of Heaven and if uh Well, I can't say it. Shadow Assassins. It looks like he's Ayu. Leave it to me. <laughs> but in Wrath of Heaven, that, that looks like he's Ayu. What happened to Echigoya? Tread carefully. <laughs> Doggy. That's what. Oh, hi there, buddy. How you doing? Let me just. Where are you? Where do you go? Where, where'd she go? Where'd she go? <laughs> Somebody did a huge Tenchu mod for Sekiro. Oh, yeah, I seen that one. Where uh, the main guy looks like Ricky Maru. Always this level I ha just what the Come on. He see he, he literally looked at the wall and he and he told his friends, yo, hold my bear real quick. And just walked up the wall. Can I even walk up the wall? No. That's not fair. What? You just walked up the wall. Well, I mean, he could climb. That's one thing. Can you just, yeah. Do do that. Whatever. Another uh, pro tip about Tenchu 1. These AIs are the smartest AIs in any other PS1 game. I'm pretty sure these are even smarter than uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 guards. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else is a good AI game for PS1? There's... I was gonna say, isn't there two guards? Where's the kitchen again?
Love doing that. Hey you, where's your boss? You, your Lord God has Yo, what's up, Cannon? How convenient of you to come here. I have orders to kill you. Wait! Please, spare my life. Hmm, make you a deal. Tell me where your boss is, and maybe I'll let you live. <laughs> the Yami kind of reminds out. me of some type he, of he, Warcraft he character with badass soon. armor. You look at her weapons, it's like, her weapons don't even, like, are so puny. Hey, little bee stings. Hey. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee, I guess. Wait, did she... Okay, so she ate the rice ball that I threw, and that's what happens in Tenshi 1 if... You know, people eat the rice ball. Did you use Open Jail to play PSX games? Uh, what? What is OpenGL? Sorry, come on, come on in. I don't know what OpenGL is. Is that a program? Lord Goda trusted you. How could you betray him? Yeah, for Tenchu One, the rice balls—they don't die. They just do that animation of uh, my stomach. Oh, my stomach, that's it. Since you two. Like you, weak and twisted. Since you two, I never Not. used the rice balls because, well, <laughs> they suck. I'm not kidding. They suck. You roll them and they don't go really far away. And it's more like an... Tenchu 1 rice balls are very OP because it resets their AI. And so if you throw a rice ball and they spot you, that's not really considered a spot. How could I because the rice ball manipulated it. You stole from Lord Goda. How could you have won? Tenchu 3, I think they do get poisoned. Tenchu 4, there's no rice ball. Long ago, Fatal Shadows, there is rice ball. I'm not sure if it stone. poisons. This stone has the power to control minds and alter bodies. It has been stolen by a strange cult, calling itself the Manji. The Manji are using it to go from temple to temple, slowly building an army of zombie-like followers. Soon, they will start attacking villages, then towns, then cities. You must recover the stone and terminate the cult before it's too late. Uh, this is... Do I want... No. That... Um... Open shows an API video and make PSX games look more HD. Uh, no. How I'm capturing the PlayStation 1 is I'm using a, a GV USB 2, which is a very cheap and very easy to use capture card. And I'm connecting that to my bah, CRT TV. Trying to think what else I have here. Uh, that's it. I am using S Video.
No, and of course I didn't bring. Ah! Uh, damn it! So I was supposed to actually have a sleeping gas potion for this guy. Um. Hmm. You know what? Actually, let's do this. Ah! I had to be this guy? Uh -huh. Gross. Sorry if I bumped your head. Hi. Uh, it, it, I'm, we're cool. We are cool. We're cool. No, we're not. Whoops. I think because the amulet. No, I don't think so. Wait, what? By the way, I hope I was able to answer your question. Come on in. I'm, I basically what I did is I asked a former streamer some help to uh, capture my PS2. So I know I'm using a GB USB 2. And I'm using S video because he also recommended it. He re repents in front of Rikamara but refuses Tommy because she's a woman. Probably a style fit feudal with Japan. Uh I don't know if Rikamara was like that way because I mean he had a Yame beside him. Thinking, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I know what you want. You want a stone. It's safe. All of them. Oh, I'm thing. sorry. The minister. Sorry. You're yes, not you're correct. Going to get. Oh, okay. So Sorry, I got confused because when I saw a Tame, I, I was like, who's a Tame? But it's a typo. A Yame. Sorry. <laughs> yes. That is correct. That is That was a thing back then. Women weren't really respected back then, so a Yame got a lot of shit because she was a woman. In this game, she's 18. My, my, my precious stone. That's my precious stone now. Yeah, she does not take that at all. I found the somewhat amusing. That's what makes a Yame really nice. We meet again. Onikage. You're next. <laughs> I don't think so. Don't Let's think go. so. Let's go. Yame. Oh, are you really gonna try? Okay, that move that he just did. I think I have a clip. Don't you even! Stop it! That scares me, dude! He's still trying! Oh god. Oh god. Stop it! I know you know all the moves. Uh oh. I'm not risking it. This guy is literally... He's, he's trying. I Let me see if I can find that clip. Next time, you die. <laughs> Wait. Okay. 
Japan has opened its gate to the outside world, allowing foreign trade for the first time in nearly 200 years. Together yeah, with silk, gunpowder, and exotic spices, have come something less desirable, foreign pirates. And none is worse than the Spaniard, Captain Balmer. Under the cover of the ship's powerful cannons, Balmer and his crew have wrecked havoc on the town. You must destroy these barbarians and restore peace. That's what Anakage was trying to do to me there. Little butt face. Uh That is sleeping gas. Sleeping gas is really OP. You could free aim it while you look. And you have to have you have to have a, like a feel to know where it's gonna be shot at when you're doing this. Uh, this guy should be like right here. That's why I bought this. I mean, I could have brought the whistle too. But there's two guys right next to each other here. He has to stay asleep. I can't kill him. Actually, he's in a bad spot because there's a guy in the alley. We're fine then. Deseas que te maten? Muerete. My feelings exactly, fishmonger. <laughs> Got a four tick. You won't see him where you're going. Four tick. Should show the stream a bit of that mod we saw the other day. Sometime. Lord Goda's you only daughter, gang Princess Kiku, yeah. Was quickly losing I was gonna her put it into the Discord, but I just woke up and I was like, "Gosh, I got a lot of things efforts to do." To so to However, there is a magical herb that grows only at the top of Mount Shiba. This herb has the power to halt the disease and restore the princess's vision. 
You must fight your way past the demons guarding the mountain. Find the herb and deliver it to Princess Kiku. Well, also, the Discord is, if you do exclamation Tenchu, it'll give it to you for the Tenchu community. Do I need anything else? Damn it. Oh, that was my bad. Well, this went to shit real quick. Oh, the dog's behind me. Bye. Oh no, did he just oh no, this is okay. There's not a guard down here. stealth kill with Rick Marlow, then die because the animation made him walk. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> the lead isn't big enough for the both, yeah. Okay, I know I could do this. I hit you? Or, it, wait, is it... I think this is only for Riki Maru. Yeah, this is only for Riki Maru. Ayame can't... Her hand doesn't even reach it. Feels... Bad man to be a shorty. Don't see me. You suck. Where are you? Turn one more, please. One more. Just one more. One more. Thank you. <coughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna kill this guy and we're gonna, we're gonna show something a little cool. Don't see the body. Okay, so not a lot of people know, but up there is where you need to go, right? If you go through here, make a left, and then follow the path, you'll reach all the way up there. And pretty much the objective of this level is you need to find the flower for Princess Kikyu. So, there's a short way to get up there. Besides walking all the way up there. Get a Yame. I remember... I think this one's fine. It's where you are standing. 
and there's a little like you see a little black hole right here like a dark hole like a circle you gotta aim around that I'm not close enough right there pretty much this is the rare herb princess Kiku needs. You just need to I get close to the flower to trigger the cutscene, and there you go. We call that, uh... Wait, do we even have a name for that? Quick Hook? Last night, a creature calling himself Oni Kage led an army of ninja-like demons on an attack against one of Lord Goda's castles. Onikage and his servants have strength far beyond that of ordinary men. They were able to quickly overwhelm the guards and kill all of the castle's residents. Onikage is now making preparations to invade the town. He must be stopped. The castle is heavily fortified and well defended. A frontal assault is impossible. You must infiltrate the castle and eradicate the enemies from within. There's another quick hook here, but I'm not going to show it off because it, it really is short. Like it's uh, what I want to take here. If you do the quick hook on this level, it's like you beat the level in like a minute, probably like 30 seconds if you get a really good Anakage fight. We won't do that because we just won't really hear the OST in this level. Fun fact, if you remember the cutscene in Tenchu 2 where Tatsumaru, Ayame, and Rikimaru show up at Goto's castle and they meet up with that woman to talk about what's going on, it's right here. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Down there. In the area. Because this is Goto's castle and it's like, by looking at it right here, you kind of recognize it. Actually, we could probably just kill the outskirts enemies and then I could show off the quick hook since I haven't. Yeah, let's do that. Let's kill the outskirts enemy. Like these guys right here. Oh, no. What a shame. turning Ayame is wanting to turn left I don't know why there's not another guard what So I realize this when I speedrun low percent is that sometimes when you fight multiple guards 
Ayame and Rikimaru, for some reason, I still don't know why they would do this, but they will tend to like auto aim someone. Is the best description I can give. Totally wanted to do that. Go back to normal. I'm out. Okay, so we are not here. Okay, so here, here it is. You really like this OST Kurt damage? This is like, I mean, my favorite is Majin Cult. This one I do like with the guitar. So, if you're at this corner of the tower, it's like the left side, you aim at this little black shade right here, you have to be very like squared with it, you're at the very edge of this, and as long as your little shuriken is like on that black line, You can only do this in the US version. Or else, if this was any other version, you would have been knocked off right now. You have done well to get here. Lord Mayo will be so impressed. Onikage. So Mayo's behind all this? <laughs> Yo, Clyde. What Thank you. I am. Everything going pretty good so far. Okay, this one I got a Got the auto spiller all done to last night. Should be changing the rules and such for soon for Tenji 2. Nice. So Tenji 2 speedrun will be coming pretty soon. While you were chasing Onikage in the castle, Mayo, the king of hell, kidnapped Princess Kiku, Lord Goda's only daughter. 
Lord Gouda and his advisors are too shocked by the kidnapping for any thought or action. With Princess Kiku as a hostage, Mayo's evil power is unlimited. You are Lord Gouda's only hope. You must rescue the princess and destroy Mayo. You're having trouble to work for all three characters, but you got it figured out. Nice. Make sure there's a little read me in there, or oh, well, actually, wait. Never mind. I actually had it set up. Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> Whoa! What the heck was that? Do I have to kill you? <laughs> oh, no. You can't beat me when I try. Is that so? Well then, you don't have to worry about this. Lure you to the room. I'm not dealing with ads. May I? Come on, come here. Uh, come here. I'm not dealing with ads. I am not dealing with ads with the Yame. The Yame is pretty tough when fighting because one you got an Akage there just blocking almost all my moves so that's one example of Ayame's little weakness in this game for Rikimaru you actually have a very easy cheese strat that you can do very easy You love Ayame in this one so much? I do like her, but for like a marathon and this kind of setting, it's such a... Uh, Now that I'm warmed up, it's time for Lord Mayo. Something's going on with the internet. Okay.
I'm gonna chill for a minute while this internet just wants to be like this. Yep. Fuck. I just wish one day my internet could just be, you know, good. There was someone behind me. Yep. What? Well, someone is in the fire. There is. Did he pick it up? He did. Mayo, shut up and tell me where Kiku is. <laughs> Do not concern yourself with the girl. Think about saving your own skin. So after all those boss fights, all those not being able to cheese anybody. So the only boss that y'all make a cheese is Lord Mayo, basically. But that's it. Wow. 
remember I could just hook somewhere. Or is it because Ayami's not tall enough? I think Ayami's not tall enough. Whoa. Okay, Lord Mail. And that's Tenchu One. Enjoy. I'm going to fill up my water bottle, take a little break, stretch, and uh, we will go on to Tenchu Fatal Shadows. Since we are doing a Yami story chronological order. Huh, good riddance. And don't come back. Ayame! Princess, I'm so glad you're safe. Dikimaru saved me, but I was scared. Ayame. It's unsafe here. We must leave now. Mm. This looks bad, Ayame. Come on. By the way, uh, since there's a meme going on, I thought, you know, maybe this would be appropriate. Appropriate, whatever. You know, my feels. Thank you for the GG's, Jordan.
Yo, thank you, Kurt Damage. We're gonna jump on to Tenchu Fatal Shadows. Basically, you would only know this Fatal Shadows belongs between Stealth Assassin and Wrath of Heaven if you actually read the Fatal Shadows booklet. It states that after the fight with Lord Mayo, Rikimaru is still missing, Ayame is doing her thing, and then this is her story. Let's go ahead and start it, shall we? I also gotta switch uh, remotes because this is a PS2 game, so I gotta uh, change my settings real quick. You should be able to read Fatal Shadows. My Wrath of Heaven disc is a. Uh... Please, thank you so much. My Wrath of Heaven disc. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to be doing it by emulator because I have three copies of Wrath of Heaven. I've tried to resurface them all, and my PS2 is pretty old, so. It has a hard time reading it and it'll even freeze. So for Wrath of Heaven, we're going to be doing it through emulator. Do I use an OSSC or retro tink to play these? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what any of those are. I'm playing this on PS2 and I'm using a GB USB 2 capture card. And then for my emulators, I'll be using uh, RetroArch Beetle for Wrath of Heaven and then PPSSPP for my PSP games for Time and Shadow. I think you your question third sorry. some help about capturing PS2 and some certain consoles and he gave me a list of what I need to buy which was the GB USB capture card some SB cables the blue kind of red yellow white cables that was basically it oh I see I'm playing this on a CRT All right, Fatal Shadows. First. Let's change Rin to her basic. We've had her in Scarlet for a while in Ayame's, but for Ayame, there's Tenchu 1, that's Fatal Shadows, Tenchu 3, Wrath of Heaven, and Tenchu 2. Uh, we haven't had her in Fatal Shadows yeah, we haven't had her in her regular, so for this marathon, we're going to have regular. And then the next Ayame marathon, we'll vote on which costumes you guys would like next. Come 
Countless days have passed since Ayame left her home. As an agent of Goda, she was charged with watching over the lands. More than 300 milestones have passed her by. Billowing smoke, raging fire, a lonely village, pillaged and burned. This is where the path has led Ayame. In a time of war, a burning village is nothing uncommon. However, the bodies among the ashes catch Ayami's eye. A ninja, and another, and another. Intuition, or just a hunch? Without knowing why, she is overcome with a sense of urgency. Ayame rushes into the village. <laughs> We don't need anything here. Whoops. God, I love Fatal Shadows. Fatal Shadows has the best, one of the best movements in the Tenchu series, followed by Tenchu Z. That's my favorite stealth kill in this game. Silent Scream.
Sorry, old man. Boss's orders. <gasps> Kuroya. Kuroya? Is that who did this? You don't look dead. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Look, I doubt you're gonna believe anything I say. So let's just get this over with. Oh, what up? A... You're mine. Does the name Kuroya mean anything to you? Never heard of it. Not that I tell you anyway. Huh. Finish me off! Got no reason to. To be honest, I'm a little busy at the moment. Maybe next time, kid. You dare dishonor me like this?! I'm gonna be skipping the previews because Friends, I mean we homes just and fields you know destroyed a hole in her heart. Naught is left but a charred shell. The flames burn her eyes and lap at the sky. Looking skyward, soot touches her face, a reminder of her loss. The sky slowly drift into a deep black. Yes, I have everything unlocked in uh, in this game. So I have all the skills for Rin, Ayame, and I also have all the costumes. She swears an oath. All the extra modes, red blade mode. She must bid farewell to her loved ones. For now, she can only weep for them. Futaba. Rin, Rin. Futaba! Looks like you're on your own now. You'll be all right. Follow that passage. You should be safe that way. Come with me! I'd love to, but I can't. Go on without me. I'm going to miss you.
I'll miss you too, Futaba. Rest now. So young and innocent. Let him live. What? You are the one who said to kill everyone in the village. Futaba! Fine, then. Show yourself, Ranzo. What should we do about that other Kunoichi? Lure her to Hagogake. See just how troublesome she is. Hagogake, eh? Sure. Shinogi. Make sure Ranzo doesn't have too much fun. Sure thing. You're no fun. Hey, I mean, whatever. That can happen, by the way. And I'm getting my ass kicked. So yeah, that can happen, by the way. Ah, uh, that really had to happen on a marathon. Yeah, so that could happen. Let's try not to do that again. It's because I'm activating. I'm activating yeah, the, the pressing square too early. Why is there so many of the? Yeah, let's just act like what happened five minutes ago it didn't happen. DDT! That's literally from wrestling right there. Rin, Rin has been watching some wrestling and some Street Fighter. I'll show you why. I have to get in a boss fight first. Yeah. 
Rin gets the x-rays. Ayame gets the black and white kind of coloring to her screen. Okay, that's not an assassin. I do not deserve that, but I'll take the extra items. Thank you. Ten stones borrowed and stacked atop each other. Twenty stones found and stacked up high. Ten to leave upon the journey and twenty to Colored stones on left and right signify a promise to Kiku. The promise to Kiku is fulfilled, but not all is well. A dark shadow crosses the path. The shadow must be dispelled, or the sun cannot shine. Without the sun, Kiku's smile is lost. I do want to show off Simon Ryu because he's also in this game. The only uh, so far Tenchu game that you're not allowed to use Semi Ryu, the Zuma Ninja dog. Uh, Tenchu 2. Is he in time? I think he's in Time of the Assassin. Um, is he in Z? Not, I don't remember if Tenchu Z if he's in there. Shadow Assassin, you fight, uh, you get to use a uh, similar I use cousin, the cats. Eh. Anyways, uh, do I want to, is there anything else I want to show off here? Mm, that's fine. Don't you ever happen to fighting against a female ninja that throws a uh, shuriken on the head and it kills you? Uh, she throws like a spin top on top of your head and it's an instant kill. So I could show you the ninjas that do that. It's a default female ninjas. They are in this game. They are the which by the real name, they're the Ko Ko Koyoya Koyoya's female ninjas. Like, they're their own clan. Look at that. Samurai, you just... Whoop. Oh, is he going to find more blood? Are you going to find more, buddy? Are you going to look for more? Oh, he's just excited. Look at him. He's excited. He's part of the marathon. Oh, he's just stuck. He's stuck, but he wants to find more. That's one bloodthirsty dog. I tell you that right now. And he's gone. Take this. But yeah, I could. Uh, I'll show you. They're in here. Uh, they are in Fatal Shadows. They are in Wrath of Heaven. They are in Time of the Assassin. And that's it. That's the only Tenchu games they are in.
Dude, did we get both of them? No, you suck. I want to get both of them together. Could use this. Oh, you suck. They didn't get together. So there's a little something that can happen if uh, you're carrying one of the guards weapons. If you find any of like these guards, spearmen, you could actually pick up their spears. There's also staffmen you could pick up, archers, bows, but mainly when you carry one of these, something happens in a cutscene. shadow she has been following me for quite some time and had she not shown herself i may have let her live so much for stealth let's get this over with quickly lord juzo please make your preparations mm -hmm. huh are you serious If you do a throw on this boss, it's an automatic one hit. I'm sorry, I could not be of use. You are right. I have no use for you any longer. Pity. Lord Juzo. You monster! Have you no honor? Your eyes are different. There is much fire in them. I shall enjoy your company tremendously. You wish! Good. That's a good girl. I shall meet you again in the afterlife. much for that plan back to square one <laughs> love it six 
The pursuit of vengeance has led to the land of Iwatsu, but strength has failed. Well, she, I think she turns back. Just For a chameleon spell, the they stay, uh, it stay turned. For vengeance. The voice belonged to the leader of a group of assassins. She protects the people of Iwatsu from injustice. Work must be done to repay the debt to her, but the desire for vengeance is far from forgotten. The thirst for revenge grows each night as dreams grow darker. I am an assassin. I am Rin of the Benia. We'll go ahead and try it, and then if it doesn't work, we'll try a uh, use the community spell on a different one. Um, where's my eventual spell? Oh, I don't have none. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Oh, her actual skill. Oh, how do I? How do you do that again? I have it unlocked. Why did I even grab the million stuff? Well, I totally forgot that Ren has that. All right, let's move. This burnt out looking guy. I think it's like blocked photo. down circle. My I'll try partner. it. He don't look like much. But looks can fool ya. Man, I gotta go pee. Go right ahead. Be right back. Sure. I should call the next shift. So that's oh, it only lasts very, very, very short. Oh, I'm gonna get caught here, maybe. What's that? What's that? An intruder. That sucks. Wait, no, I wanted to do the Zangief thing. Yay! So yeah, a Zangief uh, power driver right there. Does this reset? Oh no no no, she has this. She has that. She has a actual decoy whistle. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's far away. Yeah, he's far away. Wait, I can't stealth kill in this thing.
No! There we go. Oh, it's supposed to be square. Could it mob oh damn. I have not spent time on Rin. I can tell you that right now. What is it like? That right there. Hey, Jordan. Let's see, uh, you played some Fatal Shadows in your days, huh? Guess not. A thief? No, a ninja. You seem a pious man, samurai. Let me be the one to lead you to your afterlife. Pious? Now <laughs> there's a first. Huh. I guess I expected someone a little more... I don't know. Different. Huh. The child has deemed me unworthy. I'm no kid. Oh. Uh. Toshinari Katsuragi. Of the Iwazuke clan. That's you, right? In the flesh. I have no personal vendetta against you. But I come to claim your life. So, an assassin. Very well. Let us get on with this! <laughs> Yeah, Yami could do it too. I remember that. But Yami can't do the disappearing act or the whistle part. You're getting better. Really? I don't feel like it. Don't sweat it. Let's get out of here. Juzo of the Kuroya has escaped to Bogetsu King, but another lurks within, a samurai turned bandit. A warrior's pride does little to slake hunger. Rumors hint that he has ties to Juzo. After a stealthy pursuit, she has found her prey, but suddenly a shadow steals the kill dawns upon her. She knows this shadow. A ninja, once an opponent. The Konoichi from the burning village. Wow, I'm not getting much of these things, aren't I? Okay, um, well then, we'll take one of those and two of those. And I'm not going to fight the bear with any items. You're getting better. Really? I don't feel like it. Don't sweat it. Let's get out of here.
I didn't even get a chance to join in. But there was something about her. Intruders! They couldn't have gotten far. Let's get them! This isn't good. If I walk, if I run on the water, I actually make noise. Then shoot two and one. If you did that, it didn't even matter. Someone to come here real quick. Should be coming up here pretty soon. No? Yeah. I can't. Nope. Yep. That's what I figured. Let's go. Bot. Mm. She got me. Is that all you got? That no use running. Because of the timing, it took forever. No use running. Over there. Tower. of this land, nasu means eggplant. There are many ways to cook an eggplant, many of them delicious, but this eggplant would not be so delicate on the palate. For this one is not a vegetable, but a man, and an evil, lecherous one at that. He passes himself off as a masseuse, but his intent is not therapy. Countless women have fallen victim to cowardly ways. A lone woman has come to pay retribution for all those wronged. The darkness of How do you make the cheetah sprint without the pause? You... One who seeks uh, to it. As soon as your cheetah sprint is about to end, press crouch and then pr do a cheetah sprint again. Pr pretty much anytime you're gonna finish any type of like running animation or dropping animation if you press crouch you'll recover real fast i don't think i can pick up yeah i don't think i can
This is Ogin, our boss. In the underworld, there ain't nobody that don't know the name of Lady Razor Ogin. Little main shortcut here if you go over here. See that little river? Yo, Josie, how you doing? Just a spot. Happy Friday. Like yourself. Now just hang on. I didn't come here for a fight. Too bad. You may not want one. But I ain't giving you a choice. gotten stronger. What's your name, kid? You can call me Spy. Huh? Why don't you step out of the shadows and stop <laughs> fighting like a coward? How perceptive. Looks like I've been discovered. Watava! You're alive! Naive as always. I don't know why Juzo spared the restroom. you. Juzo. Maybe now he'll see that the Kuroi has no need for you. Kuroi? Juzo. Futaba, lower your weapon. I'm warning you. Silence! <laughs> Quit being so dense, kid. She's part of the group. That burned your village. No. No, that's not true, right? Tell me, Futaba. A ninja never forgets the importance of poisons. Damn you. Farewell, last of the Hagakure. <coughs> You forget something, my dear? A signal. What time is it? 
Damn. How am I gonna do this part? Apparently Rin had a what is it called? Kaku? In Zelda? One of those chickens? Let's grab this actually. Uh what? Is it not underneath here? What? Oh well, it's fine. I know how to do the other one too. Oh, there's two guys. You, I use yours for this level, the shortcut to the bridge and the opening on the roof. <laughs> it's so nice, huh? Um... He's this way, right? Yeah. Please, stop! Now, now, stop being so prudish. No, please! It's getting late now. <laughs> Be a good girl. <laughs> Much better, huh? <laughs> Not so embarrassed now. Just a second. to the bedrooms of innocent women. <laughs> Your days of playing masseuse are over. Why, you sneaky little tramp! Ha! Now you've gone and made me take out my sword. This guy's actually no joke. He will ruin you. Luckily, I have a gun. Yeah, this guy is Rin, very BS when you Go fight ahead. him. I'll catch up. Something happened? There's something I gotta take care of. All right. Watch your back out there. He's got a lot of combos, and some of his moves like grab you as a grab, and it does a good amount of damage. So he's not someone you actually want to mess around with. Someone there? I thought your back was turned. Honestly.
consciousness returns, locked in a cell, and a keepsake lost. An act of kindness carries a high cost. Injury and imprisonment. Should she sit and wait, or attempt the futile, calculated thought gives way to panic as muscles refuse to respond. A faint ringing. The after effects of the concussion, or the sound of a bell, the sound of the lost promise, the unmistakable voice of Kiku. That you, kid? <laughs> Surprised? Never could leave well enough alone. Brought something for you. Antivenom. I'll pull you up. Hold on, kid. I appreciate the help, but I can't leave. Still something that needs to get done. Anything I can help with? Yeah. Only if you're willing, of course. Three days from now. A man named Mimizuku will be outside the gates of Gota. Tell him you're hunting dragons. He should say something about horns. Dragons and horns. Got it. Hey, the name's Ayami of the Azuma. Rina the Benia. It's not going to go unnoticed for very long. <laughs> I do it fast because of this guy. That's the wrong item. I wish there was a stealth kill here so bad. Hmm. I have no idea what just happened. I guess there was enough enough room for me to do it, and then Ayami just fell off. I'm afraid to use this door. By the way, it's this girl right here that does the spinning top, Jordan. That's the one. This one specifically. I think she has another skin. I'm not sure. Oh, this one's gonna be hard to tell when to go out.
do it. You won't escape. There it is. Now, I didn't want that to go off, but wanted to show you that if you don't smash square when she does that, and she does that when she's low HP, if you don't smash square when you do that, the spinning top on your head shoots a drill down your brain, and it does an x-ray and shows it, and you're dead. Oh god, that's not what I wanted to do. Wait, is he still coming over? Or he probably didn't hear it. Does she do that in Wrath of Heaven too? Yes. You're welcome. Even if I had a ninja rebirth, it's an instant kill. So even having a revive you would wouldn't help up. you. You would have to, you have to smash square. Looking for this. Smash square and like I went in circles with my sticks. There's one thing I don't get. What do you got against us? Don't think we've ever crossed you or nothing. I'd remember that. Sister. Women are a little whimsical that way. Not that I'd expect someone who kills for money to understand. Money? No. I don't kill for money. I do it for fun. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> I have to hand it to you. You sure do make killing you a whole lot easier. <laughs> I hope you came prepared for a fight, because I didn't come for dinner and a show. You're mine now. Oh, he's gonna slash me up right now. could there be? All thoughts were overcome with hatred. Vengeance would heal all wounds. But such thoughts are in the past. Now, the truth must be found before revenge can be hers. Could he truly be an enemy? The enemy she had sworn to kill? Confusion can wait. For now, a message must be delivered. There will be time enough for thought. Show you guys a speedrun strat in this level. This level is really small. Uh, I believe if I get my term right, it's called sandboxing, where pretty much the the devs pretty much give you a really small map and just jam packed a bunch of guards right next to each other. So this is like one of those levels. Uh, you know
some of my wife's stew. Hunt any good dragons lately? No, but I've been caught on a few of their horns. Mimizuku? You Ayame? Ayame couldn't come. She told me to give this to you. Oh. I thought I recognized your voice, kid. What the hell are you doing here, Rin? Hichikoro? Wait! You're a Goda spy? I didn't mean to lie to you or Ogin, but no use lying now. Just be sure to break it to Ogin nicely, okay? Sure. Did you read it? Good. And it looks like I don't have to kill you. Kichigoro. Hmm? You and Ayame don't got any quarrel with the Koroya. Why? Why are you guys risking your lives like this? It's what happens when you've got a twisted sense of loyalty to your country. We're probably never going to see each other again, so I might as well tell you. Sorry, but I don't think you're cut out for this work. What? You're too... I don't know. Caring. If you're going to be a killer, you got to be stone cold. So long, kiddo. You're all right. By the way, the reason why I didn't kill any guards is for Rin, Grandmaster status is called assassin. For Ayame, it's Grandmaster. But there's three, two ways, two ways to get Grandmaster slash assassin rank is one, you go through the whole level, you kill no one, and you automatically get Grandmaster if you get no spots. Another way is if you do kill some guards, you at least have to kill at least three or above without no spots. It, it, it could just be three guards. It has to be three guards. If you get one or two guards, it's not. It has to be three guards and no spots, and it's a Grandmaster Assassin. kind of weird how they I don't know it, it was Ayame. it's weird to me how they would do that the bell recovered the path now leads to the pass at Shishiyano the Benia ninja was skilled enough to be entrusted with the letter but there was still room it's like you could do the Tenchu one way of going from point A to point B without being spotted and automatic Grandmaster there will be time enough or if you want some killing you at least have to have three minimum arriving. but something seems amiss in the air the wind carries upon it an ominous weight the journey ahead would test her own skills as well Okay, let's see. The fox in the box. That looks a really nice drawing, buddy. <laughs> Do I need anything else? <laughs> Kayla, a gift. <laughs> See if I can activate a cutscene here. 
So if you only kill these two and leave this guy alive, something happens. I'd start running if I were you. <laughs> huh, didn't think that'd work. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, this one is a tough one, especially if you're like doing it in a uh, red blade mode where you fight all the bosses. They're tough. Like it's hard to get uh, some type of hit in on them. Let's see if I can do this with having my. Please still have it beside it. Oh, okay. Oh, you're all right. Where's Mimizuku? He left. You just missed him. <sighs> Wanted to see what he looked like. Oh well. But thanks for your troubles. Didn't mean to get you involved. Consider the debt repaid. Yeah. She's so focused. Sure of herself. Like Kichigoro. You're so alike. Huh? Who is? Nothing. Just mumbling is all. If you walk into a cutscene with a chameleon spell, you actually stay in it. That was pretty nice. The Kuroya seemed unstoppable. With Kichigoro gone, the Benia's numbers dwindled. But something must be done, or soon the Benia would be no more. Calling for help injures pride, but there is more at stake. Rin is entrusted with a letter to be delivered to Zenosuke. With the help of Rin, the Benia would survive. But if now, this is a statue level, I'm going to change levels because I'm not. Present no, frame of mind, but I think I should be okay. Is a useless death. All they need is time. Perhaps then. What I like about Fatal Shadows is that the nightmare would end. Depending what exit you take, or depending if you kill all enemies on a certain level, you could have different stories going on. I think I'm good, and I think I said friends of sorrow. Uh, what did I take for? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I gotta change it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to change this level. I'm not doing this level. I really gotta figure out what triggers this so I don't keep on doing it. The Kuroya use small statues to communicate. Okay, so basically this level you turn these statues. You see those red dots? You turn all of them. Eh. Let's not do that. Sorry, I forget what triggers that. It's not the blind guy, is it? Uh, Flames of Sorrow. Happens if you don't kill the Sauron in chapter nine. Oh crap. Thank you, Ninja. Huh. Damn it. I gotta sacrifice that cutscene to do this level. Uh... Oh my god. Did I just grab the same level? God damn it. Flames of sorrow. Flames of passion, 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 passion. Literally has the same name. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go. I should do RE marathons, play all main RE games. I could. I mean, I've played them all. Kind of. Except RE7. And some of the side ones. Alright, this one you don't turn any statues. You just go from point A to point B. I don't like the statues because I don't know the strats for that. But one and two, it's annoying. <laughs> Oh yeah, especially if you forget one across the bridge. Yeah, it's not great. Very time consuming. It's like every statue takes, I say, 20, 25 seconds. Because you go into a cutscene, you see Ren. Well, you could cancel the cutscene. So 10 seconds, maybe. Seven wasn't a fan of playing. I just don't like it. But I thought it was funny to watch. Oh, funny to watch people play RE7? Bad Ricky, uh, Ricky Morrow. Bad Ren doesn't have like a grab like Ricky Morrow. Put them on their shoulders and just throw them. It's so funny, dude. Thank you for your troubles. However. This is not good. If this letter is truthful, then Ogin's life is in danger. Wait. Very sloppy. If you wish to sneak up on someone, it works best when you don't breathe so heavily. Not bad. For an old man. A little creepy, though. Futaba! Get out of here! Just stay out of my way! Why is it always you? Do not forget our mission. Rin, I have a message from Juzo. Kill this man and you can join us. No harm will come to you. Never! You think I'd believe the words of a murderer? A murderer? What? You think it makes you better because you're paid to kill people? I don't care. I do what I have to. But you took everything from me. Everything I ever cared about. I'll never forgive you! Insolent brat. Very well, then you die.
about you! Rin, was it? Yes. You should return home. Ugin may need your help. We will follow you shortly. I leave them in your hands. Lady Razor keeps good company. Impressive. Surely I am the luckier with you here. <laughs> Shall we go? I'm positive he was dead. Perhaps his love for his sister? Such passion. All right, let's go. It's creeping me out. A lone woman braves the darkness of the Karoya's lair. That woman is none other than Lady Razor herself, Ogin. Her eyes are steel and unmoving. She will not lose. The devils of the Karoya dream of what they would do to her. The possibilities are endless. Another woman, alone, arrives at Iwatsu. A complete stranger, her fate intertwined with the Benia. She draws her blades, determined to put an end to things. Her name is Ayame, and she longs to return home. Done with school, buddy. Yay! Wait, oh, uh, hold on. Razo. That's what I'm forgetting. Go ahead and go play, buddy. Play your Nintendo Switch. What game? Any game. What? Give me a head. Love you. I love you. I'm hungry. You just say pizza. I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm gonna make uh, some food here in a little bit because Daddy needs some food. During the cre uh, ending scene of this game and the credits, I'm gonna go make me some snacks since it's been like yeah, about four and a half hours and I haven't had lunch really, just breakfast, oatmeal with strawberries. I mean, sorry, blueberries.
The Kuroya's numbers are many, but not as many as the Benia. <laughs> You're pretty smug for someone so old. But don't worry, that's not gonna last much longer. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter how old they are. Ain't nothing like the face of a woman suffering. That's quite enough, freak. Huh? Oh. Now this is more like it. I get two pretty things to play with? Keep laughing, little man. Now, now, let's not be rude to our superiors. Let's get this over with before you make me throw up. <laughs> I can beat him with a spear. Yeah. You gonna be all right? Not to be rude, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Don't worry about me. I've been through worse. Hang in there. <sighs> so this is what you get if you actually get thugged. You get kicked out of Ninja Academy, and Ayame is out in the steps all disappointed. Don't you feel bad. Who thinks not here? I don't know. Go look in his room. She rushes to walk inside, but a moment too late. A note leads the way to a playhouse in Watsu. Thoughts race through her mind, but her legs move quicker. Faces appear and fade. Ayame, the elders, Futaba and Hitoha, Ogin, Zenosuke, Kichigoro. But one face crowds her thoughts. The face with one eye. The face belongs to Juzo of the Kuroya. Juzo would cover the world in black. And Rin, who stains the earth in red, the land is already blackened with his taint. No longer. Black will give way to red, a thick, bright crimson pouring from his veins. All right, last level. So I want to bring a reaper. I can bring one. I want to bring armor. I can bring three more things. Uh, I'm gonna bring. <sighs> Again? Again! Again! Hang in there. You'll... you'll be all right. A little scratch like this ain't gonna kill me. Did you meet the contact? Yes. He's the one who told By me the way, to that's Ren's armor, if you did not know. That's what her armor looks of like. Of course. Ogin? What is it? I told you that I was out for revenge, right? Against the people that burned your village. I 
found them. I found the people who killed my family. But I don't know what to do. I've been waiting for this for so long. And now... I... Help me up. Assassin of the Benia. The Benia do not kill out of grief or anger. Yes, I know that. Rin, I have a job for you. It's very important. The job is tonight. The mark is one Juzo and his clan. What? Yo, Cypress, how you doing? Behind me a good one. sure and finish this. Throw you, or you could just fall. Okay. Damn. Wanted to practice her crimson fatal. You good? We're on some tension two stuff right now. Again, new game plus save for pal. Nice. Played that song just for you. Wouldn't you even clap? Where's Juzo? Tasteless and rude. You will learn respect. <laughs> now I'm just in a bad mood. I hope you're happy. That was a grab he was about to do too. Nope. Luckily I have a rebirth. told me and I'm pretty soon I'll be able to do some runs Ugh. hey 
Hey, Chuzo, you have a mirror. Make my death beautiful. You've grown strong. Whatever don't kill you, as they say. You ready, Juzo? This night shall be your last. Are you sure you want to kill your fiancé? The elders chose my fate. What happened that day? What good does it do you? Knowing what happened won't bring the Hagakure back. Answer my question! I'll decide myself. You're leaving the village? I tire of doing the work of others. From here, I will live by my own hand. Arrogance! A ninja lives and dies by the shadows. No, I refuse to obey the meaningless orders of those who are too old and decrepit to do anything else. Once you have left, you shall be disavowed. I'm aware of the consequences. I have already made arrangements. Come with me, and bear me a child. We shall expand the Koroya. In time, you will forget what has happened to the Hagakure. Your child? Me? You took my family from me! You took everything I ever loved from me! You make sure and finish this. I won't fail you. Juzo, leader of the Kuroya. That's you, right? Unmistakably. I am Rin of the Benia. I have come to take your life. Got it. Alright. You guys enjoy. I gotta go make me lunch so I can eat during Wrath. Make Junior lunch. And then we will jump on Wrath of Heaven. That was uh, Rin's final skill called Yours Crimson Fatal. Of ranks and casts. I have not the patience for it. You forget your place in this world. Perhaps some shinobi adhere to your code, but a true shinobi follows no one. So you are determined to leave. I shall walk by the light of the sun, and the land shall be covered in the darkness of my shadow. Rin may have been able to bring hope into your darkened soul. You speak of hope? Just the mumbling of an old and decrepit man. Hope.
who would have known that having only one eye would lead me to such a pitiful fate? Job? Yeah. Thanks for the help. Help? Don't know what you're talking about. are about to get complicated. I know. What now, kid? Too late to turn back. No more running. See you around. Time to go home.
Uh, what the? Hold on. There it is. Oh, what the? Really? So, I have three copies of Wrath of Heaven, and none of them work well. They will skip like crazy, so I have to switch over to Emulator, or else, yeah. villager erupts into tears in front of town officials. He explains that his daughter was taken as a payment for a loan that he could not repay. Other village girls have been disappearing in the night as well. Witnesses come forth with news that the village girls were taken to the temple in the bamboo forest. Because of the temple, the bamboo forest is considered a holy ground, 
not to be disturbed by the government and the police. Lord Godar has no choice but to send you into the bamboo forest for silent justice. All right, so in this one, she does not have her cheetah sprint. Uh, do we want to do this? Yeah, I'll show you a bit of uh, how this goes for uh, the speed run. Why did the sound go low there? What? So yeah, this is pretty much the fast way to move around in Wrath of Heaven. My bad. Ninja. Can I not do her jump self kill? Am I that bad? I think I'm that bad. That was gnarly. No, this can't be happening to me. Oh, that's a nice pair you have. Wait, no, I'm not ready. I'm ready. Why don't I show you? Ah! Let the girl go. What? How dare you disturb my game of cards? Aha. Uh -huh. You are one of Gorda's pets. Ah! Hey, get back here. Your family owes Echigoya, damn it. Echigoya? Looks like you chose the wrong party to crash.
The mention of Echigoya's name by Tajima in the bamboo forest was proof that Tokube had inherited the family business after his father was killed. You must infiltrate the Echigoya estate and punish the evil merchant. All right, ate my lunch. <clears throat> I got you. Yeah, buddy. Whoops. Searched for all those years. Hi. Just between you and me, it is known as the Jewel of the Earth. Legend says there are two more like it hidden somewhere in this realm. He who acquires all three will discover power beyond his wildest dreams. Hmm. Now, oh, that is very, very interesting. You all three, you know. No? Uh, is that a business <laughs> proposition? Consider it a favor. Kidnapping what? girls isn't enough, huh? You must be one of Goda's dogs. Now let's see. Kidnapping, jewel theft, bribery. You two have been bad boys. Go! Oh. 
Should be getting along. Go ahead and run, coward. The blood of this ninja will stain your tatami and will rust my sword. <laughs> <laughs> Chigoya, where have you gone? Oi. You love that quote? I see. Lord Goda nods quietly as you report to him regarding the three jewels that Echigoya spoke of. However, he makes no mention of it and asks you to forget the incident and the conversation. A few months later, a treacherous incident occurs. Hamada, one of Lord Goda's men, takes Lord Goda hostage and demands that the Jewel of Virtue be brought to him. Timed with Hamada's acts of treason, a mysterious band of ninjas attacks the castle and takes over every floor. You must hurry to rescue Lord Goda and dispose of the traitor. Mm. Damn it. 
Oh my gosh. Really? Of course. <clears throat> I can hate that. He should be coming out. for you, buddy. any closer or I'll cut Golda's throat. <gasps> Ayame, we must do as he says. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Ayame. Please, take cover. This traitor must be punished. Yes, get him. <sighs> Insanity, treason, whatever. I choose not to live by your rules. I see you. <clears throat> Whoops, and why did I hear a guard? Is there a guard here somewhere? Powerful, 
but his ancestors had to seal the swords in a shrine in the cemetery to keep the swords from taking the lives of their owners. To get to the shrine, now an old house, one had to break five sealing stones within the cemetery. You must go to the shrine in the cemetery to retrieve the Yoto swords. But be careful, for the spirits blocking your path cannot be hurt by normal swords. Yo, hi Jinka, how you doing? Welcome. Zombies? True. I pretty much have this new game plus file. <coughs> I have everything unlocked because of this. Because you don't get these swords until you beat this level. Which, with normal, normal swords, this level is pretty, uh, ay yeah yeah. Man, I'm making a lot of noise with stealth kills. Oh, I scared the cat. I forgot about the kitty. The kitty betrayed me. Stupid wall. You couldn't see his head get turned. Oh, he's got red eyes? What? Well, now he's got no eyes because he's got no head. Terrible with freaking jump stealth kills, man.
I had to be this guy. Duh. I gotta run. Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. Nice, give me the godlike RNG. Kind of. Two months pass after retrieving the Yoto swords. Lord Goda had sent all of his men to find the Jewel of Heaven before it fell into the hands of Tenrai, but to no avail. An old sage named Zenosuke, who lives in a red house in the Ronin village, was rumored to have information regarding the whereabouts of the Jewel of Heaven. Tenrai's men also have heard of this rumor and are already at the Ronin village. You must go to the Ronin village to meet Zenosuke. Oh yeah, this song is a banger. Oh. Uh... trying to think. Uh, what do I start off again? Oh, yeah. That's fireworks. Imagine looking up and see fire fireworks, and then that happens. Man, your day must suck. Come, huh, man. Ooh. Here, let's watch the fireworks as well. Everyone looks up and looks at the fireworks for a bit. I love the fireworks. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> Do item uses cost you points? No. 
you can use as much items as you want and it doesn't affect your ranking So yes, there is out of bounds in this game, but I'd rather not do that. Trying to stealth. Show yourself. You. So, you're the one who killed the old man. Don't give me that, woman. I'll avenge your death, boss. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, wait! Don't tell me you're going to beg for mercy. Your fighting style. Azuma ninja, right? Yeah, so? All right. My fight is not with you, Azuma. The old man ordered me never to cross swords with Azuma ninja. Besides, you couldn't be the one who killed him. Just who are you? The name's Tesho Fujioka. I'm a doctor by trade. I'm going to take off before the authorities show up. See around, Azuma. Hey! Wait! Have you ever heard of the Jewel of Heaven? No. Never heard of it. I've got to get going. Later. I've heard rumors of a private organization selling justice to villagers. The guy must be one of them. Ayane. Ricky Maru? Don't worry, I'm not a ghost. I haven't been able to return until now. There's no time to explain. But I'm back. Uh, Ayane, what are you doing? I was just testing you. Ricky Maru would have dodged my blade. What are you talking about? I am Vikimaru. And I'll prove it. 
if I have to. Uh, what happened to what? Am I trying a button? Where do you go? Where are you? That's what I thought. Well, well. Looks like I caught a big one. Uh. This will please Tenrai. <laughs> <laughs> As you prepare for your escape, the guard in front of you suddenly shrieks in pain. Teshu had followed Kimaira there. After seeing that you can escape by yourself, Teshu tells you that Zenosuke mentioned the secret jewel being hidden in the eye of the statue in the Buddha temple. Then Teshu disappears. Okay, this one I actually need some civilian spells and disability spells, so I'll show you guys. There's uh, some uh, bad run killers. It would be annoying. Um, do I want to bring anything else here? Guess that creep isn't so bad after all. <laughs> so, the jewel is in the Buddha's eye. What a clever hiding place. <laughs> hey, Psycho! Why did you bring me here? You will address me as Dr. Kimaira. And I'd like to... Play with you a little longer. My Hime! Alright. I'm gonna stick this guy. Because what I really love about Wrath of Heaven. Oh, come on. There we go. You could simultaneously activate those explosive bombs. And I think you could put up to like seven, eight before they start despawning. Yo, what's up, PJ Almighty? Oh. <laughs> Guess we know who your waifu is. Uh, who's here? Kissed it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to actually use a chameleon here because there's one guy that could actually kill me instantly. This guy right here. He has machine guns, grenades. He does a spin for win move.
If I touch any of that black stuff. Uh, oh! Mm. That actually never happened to me. So there's two explosive arrows that shoot out there. One on the left side, one on the right side. And those are mines. But yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Still makes a blood sound effect with them. Like they're leaking oil or something. That right there, that that particular sound. Sounds like they're leaking oil. <laughs> Boy, does this lock look familiar. Holy moly. Oh, hey, my sword doesn't break. Cool. That's what I get for talking shit. Yep. Idea because of that guy. I don't really want to fight the Chi Bot because he could be cheap and I don't have a rebirth. Like, if fight, I don't get into a fight with the Chi. I should have brought rebirth just to show off like how they fight, but. Uh, wait, there is one I could pick up, but I already passed it. But, yeah, he could literally just one turn kill me by just spinning forever. Ow. Kage's voice fills the room. He sees you, and you stare back. From behind you, Rikimaru walks up to your side. You better be the real Rikimaru this time. What are you talking about? Huh. Nothing. Forget I said it. Ah, that. Lord Goda told me all about it. This Tenrai fellow seems to be quite inventive. Annoying is more like it. Anyway, I found out where the Jewel of Heaven is. In the eye of the Buddha in the temple. Leave Onikage to me. You should hurry to the Buddha temple. We're doing by cannon, so we actually let Rikimaru fight Onikage. I'll leave him to you. Good. <laughs> it's been a long time, Rikimaru. I'm kinda like an old dog you can never. 
never get rid of. I just keep coming back. Bring it on. According to Teshu, the jewel of heaven is hidden in the eye of the statue inside the Buddha temple. Ganda, one of Tenrai's lords of darkness, is already at the Buddha temple with his men. Go to the Buddha temple and execute Ganda. Nice to meet you too. Uh, Ganda. What can I bring for Ganda? Really nothing new. You suck. Oh. We can use the poison daggers. Wait, I can just do an infinite combo on him, actually. I finish my combo, he gets hit with the poison, and do another combo. Tenrai, I have failed. Up there, huh? And just like Ginbu, he stands up and dies like a statue.
Wow, two heads to cap it. Wait, is this thing like... No, it's not. I don't think so. Whoops. What? That happened. What took you so long? Huh? Tatsumaru? Is it you? So, Tenrai has turned you as well. <laughs> Hold! I'm sorry, Tatsumaru. But I cannot permit you to give that to Tenrai. I see. Don't press your luck. You're still no match for me, little one. I don't want to kill you. But I will have to if we meet again. Farewell. Looks like no one's guarding the gates of hell these days. With two out of the three jewels in possession by Tenrai, Lord Goda decides that his only chance of winning would be to conduct a surprise attack. Goda's men are sent across the land to find out where Tenrai is hiding. After a few days, the men gather information that Tenrai has set up a fortress on a nearby island. Any boats would be easily spotted, but a surprise attack could be conducted through a tunnel from within the limestone caverns that connects the island to the mainland. During the process of gaining this information, Goda loses half of his army, and Sekia, his advising council, was taken hostage by the enemy within the limestone caverns. You must go to the limestone caverns and rescue the Council Sekia. Princess Kiku, Lord Goda's daughter, hands you her sister's bells for good luck. I'm only loaning these to you, you know. Kiku, yes. I'll return them to you when I get back. That's a promise, Ayame. Is that all I need? Yeah.
All right, so I'm gonna have to skip a couple of these guys because this is danger zone with like a couple pit bulls. Really? Sekia thanks you for rescuing him. He also informs you that you will need to find a box of explosives to blast an opening in the wall that blocks the path to Tenrai's fortress. I've marked on your map where you should use the explosives. I thought I was by the side. Okay. shatters and the path to Tenrai's fortress opens. Just at that moment, a Shikigami strikes Sekia. Oh crap. That is my bad folks. Ah, oh, rip. So let's slip my hand. Don't push anything. This blood? My blood? No. It can't be. Now you've got eternity to apologize for what you've done. After the battle with Kagura, you return to Lord Goda to report the situation regarding the tunnel and about Sekia. 
Lord Goda thanks you for your courage and decides to hold a strategy meeting with his men. He returns a few hours later. The plan is to first send you in to kill the leader from the inside. Made out of paper. <laughs> yeah. Give him a really hard paper cut. Those things hurt. This one's a very long one, and then there is, oh, uh, yo, Retro, which one is, uh, TOA is, uh, Time of the Assassins? One for, uh, PSP. It's very, oof. Yo, thank you, Retro. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go this way. I know he's on the other side. it needs fixing oh yeah it's kind of like it depends on like the username like how big it is or how small it is it gets all like moved around or actually wait uh don't look at me don't look at me oh yeah yeah, yeah. Limited development. Oh my gosh, there's just so, just so many reused assets. So much. So wasn't there supposed to be someone coming out? Sadly, I don't have my undead blade, so I can't kill that guy.
Uh oh. This is not good. I knew you would come. And now that you have, I have no choice. I must kill you. Tatsumaru. I am on a mission, and you will not stand in my way. Do it! Do it! Come on. Tomorrow, I thought Tenrai had turned you. Forget about me. You have a job to do. But I have so much to tell you. I'll be back. Oh. <laughs> this is not good. All right, let's finish this. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Wow, that was close.
Come away. This place. Welcome, Welcome to, to my, my fort. <laughs> I will revive Leo and use him as my slave. With his powers, I shall bring this world to its knees. Brilliant, don't you think? That's about as stupid as it gets. No one can control Mayo. Now, just give me the jewels. So I can kill you. <laughs> Full of spirit and overconfident, too. You are just as I thought you'd be. Too bad you have to die. <laughs> enough, enough. You are a brave opponent. I will give you that. But are you brave enough for what's coming? With only two jewels, along with my powers, I will crush you to pieces. My, my power, it's fading, impossible. I can move again. This may be my only chance. Impudent wench. Alright, next will be Time of the Assassins. Enjoy, guys! It can't be! Not me! Not like this! I cannot die! You think you have won! But I will see this world destroyed before I lose to a ninja girl! Neo! I summon thee! Let my soul nourish you! <laughs> is not good. Rikimaru and... Rikimaru, get Ayame out of here. I'll take care of this, but let me do this one good deed. All right, go. Can you walk? Come on, Ayame. Let's go. Tatsu! What are you doing? Get out of here now! 
Let's go, Rikimaru. It's about time. Master Shunsai, I strayed from the path. Give me the strength to atone for my actions. I'm coming back! Wait for me! Kagami! Gods created the jewels of heaven and earth to help people maintain order and peace. But the gods understood man's fallibility and so created a third stone to protect the world from those who would abuse the power given to them by the jewels of heaven and earth. That third stone was the jewel of virtue. The bells entrusted to you and Princess Kiku were created by that same jewel of virtue. Tatsu. Ayame! Thank you for the GG's. We're going to go ahead and uh, skip these credits because we're going to hear these credits in uh, Time of the Assassin. New Duke. Right, let me go ahead and get this ready. Time for Time of the Assassin.
Right. Pinchu Town Assassins. Very, uh... Mm. Also, no, na no narration, so I'm gonna be, uh... Getting some dialogue. Yes, sir! Like now, because there's no narration. So, after the battle with Tenrai, peace has returned to the land of Goda. Ayame had left Goda's lands alone to scout out the situation in the surrounding lands. But now, he comes to pay her respects to Masanoshin. First time in a long while. However, immediately upon her return, Matanoshin informs her that there is a spy looking in Goda's territory. Once again, the shadow of uncertainty creeps up upon Goda. Matanoshin orders Ayame to investigate this series of events. So that music right there is the last boss fight of Tenchu 2. Who are we fighting here again? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is word that we have spies in our midst. Ayame, I want you to see if this is true, and if so, to deal with the situation. You make it sound like it'll be easy. This is not a time for nice wit. Pun, there are also reports of ninjas being spotted near the castle. You need to find out who they are and stop them immediately. All right, just leave it to me. I'm counting on you, Ayana. So this is a PSP game, so it kind of explains uh, a lot of things about this game. Also, this right here is uh, music to the credits I was just talking about. So yeah, they reused a lot of the music from different tenchus for this game. Wait, who sees me, first of all? I don't see anyone looking at me. Did I mean? And this song just, you know, fits perfectly. Rikimaru. Rikimaru, why are you here? What are you doing? That's what I'm asking you. Why are you here? I don't have to answer to you. Aha! Now I get it. You imposters just keep on coming. Don't you? This is, by the way, the... Third time... Imposters have acted like Rikimaru. Have to admit, you come pretty close to the real thing. Must be easy looking like that. <laughs> Very well. I'll just shut that smart mouth of yours. Permanently, and then no one will ever be the wiser. I love to see you try. Oh, oh, oh god. I pushed the wrong button. Sorry! Sorry! I have no idea why this guy's here. Whatever button, do not push L2, because this, this is an emulator. Oh shit!
Master of Magicora, you always have to kill someone named Magicora. Yep. It's a staple in a Tenchu game. Uh, 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 uh. Well, whatever you were up to, you had guts. I'll give you that. But I don't want to save data. Yami has been tracking the whereabouts of Rikimaru, who has vanished when she receives a letter. It is from Tarakoro Mifuyu. Ah, uh, boy, I hope I'm not butchering that. Mifuyu is a daughter of Tarakoro Kambe, who once plotted a rebellion against Masanonchin. After Kanbi's downfall, Mifuyu went on a wandering journey through various lands. The letter informed her that Rikimaru had been captured by Anekage. Does this mean that Rikimaru's been caught by Anakage? I don't believe it. Oh well, looks like I'd better look into it. Still, why is it for you? Excuse me, sorry. I am so blown away. Do you? Ayame! Let's forget why you're here. For now, is what you said in your letter true? You mean about what happened to Rikimaru? I don't know what you're up to, but you better tell me what's going on. Kind of hard to uh, finish the sentence. You know, you should really keep your voice down around here. What? I hate to have to do this, but... What? Mithuyu, you... why? Please, don't think of me. I do this all for Lord Onikage. Uh. Betrayed by Mifuyu, Ayame instead ends up being captured and finds herself confined in a land unfam unfamiliar to her. While she is there, a shadow steals up to her. It is Yuge Jonasilke, a former vassal to Tarako. Driven by the intensity of his ambitions, Yuge once plotted to rebel against Goda. 
First, the figure is an unexpected encounter with Yuge and the name of Anakage. Ayame's fury is fanned by an indescribable sense of uneasiness, like being seized by a silent shadow that caught her aware, unaware. I hate this level. Do you know what I should do? I should spend one time and just grind out these items so that way the marathon is a little easier. You must be a Yame. And so you're Yuge then. There he is. Do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Yes, I do in fact. Let's just get to business. Business? How about an exchange for me letting you out of here? You finally escort me outside. I hope you don't expect me to trust you. Still, since it looks like you're my only ticket out of here. Hurry up. There isn't time for daddling. Fine. Let's just go. So much as think of trying anything, though, you're a dead man. Alright, so... hate this level. We need to escort this guy out. That's not... And this is how slow he walks. Really, dude? He does have HP, so he can get hit by traps and the enemy could spot him and they could fight him, but he doesn't, he doesn't hit back. We all saw that. We also have a time limit. Time limit. Yep, he is very slow. There's no other way to make this guy faster. See how hard it is to do a stealth kill in this game? And this guy won't move until the key's back to normal. So there's just, you know, so much stuff. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't even work either.
Uh oh. Well, that sucks because now he's gonna get spotted. Yep, see? You gotta get spotted. Ow. I didn't see that. Damn it. I was gonna say, dude, there's no way. That's not fair. You're like in the shadow and you can still see me when I'm crouched. <laughs> Yours. That's so not fair. <laughs> I was even crouched to rolling down and he saw me through the bottom. Yikes. Like I was literally like this going this and he spotted me. Yikes. There's gonna be a dog on the left. Ah, all right then. I'll be on my way. Wait, you remind me of the man they call Riki Maru. Tell me what you know. Just that Onikage has made sure that Riki Maru won't be interfering. Onikage. The mind's eye turned inward shall show the true path. The mind's eye turned inward. I'll show the true path. Huh. What the hell is that supposed to mean? The words themselves are a clue. It's all I can give you. But surely it's better than knowing nothing. Ah. Ah. Now then, I'll be on my way as well. Deuces. What the? My head feels like a ton of bricks. I've got to hurry. Having successfully escaped, a Yame is on her way back to Goda. If Yugi's information is correct, Rikamaru is currently being held captive by Onikage and under his power. With one fear materialized as reality, Ayame has not a moment to lose. 
but there is one thing that bothers her, and that is the line Yuge left her with, the mind's eye shall turn inward, shall show the true path. The moment Yayame had heard that, she had been seized by a peculiar sensation. It was then that countless underlings of Anakage appeared to stand in her way. Da, whoops, that. Okay. Sorry. Usually triangles uh, to remove, like subtract, but this one is to uh, go back. Wait, did I not grab shurikens and I grabbed rice instead? Whoops. Assassin has the same ranking system like Fatal Shadows. If you kill one guard, you need to kill three. I feel you why. You have a choice. Either you return to your cell, or I kill you myself. Got no reason to fight you. Maybe you don't, but I most certainly do. Why are you serving on Akage? Oh, is this conversation really necessary? I'm God! Ugh. Fool! Fly, you fools! Wait. Why? Why did you do this? Anakage needed it to be done. How could you seriously trust him? For my father, if I could get to go to, I could carry out his last wish. You idiot! You know that Anakage's intentions could never be so noble. I finally understand. My life has just been darkness. And he, he was my light. Before you just, I lived my life by the sword. And so, by the sword, I perish. I have no regrets. Now, hurry! Anakage's men are can this really go more slow than already it is? Headed for Goda's castle. Uh. I feel you! 
Og en klokke af. Yeah, see, no spots and not a grandmaster. But we do get some stuff. Ah, this is a ninja village. <laughs> it turns out that Mifuyu was only being manipulated by Anakage, who used her feelings for her late father against her. Even knowing that, Ayame is unable to discern a way to save Mifuyu without taking her life. Just before Mifuyu breathes her last, he tells Ayame that Anikage is plotting to evade Goda. As a way to stop Anikage's invasion into Goda, Ayame comes up with the idea to launch a surprise attack against him before he enters Goda. Doesn't anything seem unusual to you? What do you want about this time? Something about this entire plot to spark a war. It doesn't feel right. Oh, don't tell me you're re-backing out. Oh, he's not going to have to. Uh. You! How the hell? Ooh. Now tell me about your little friends. Then I want to know each and every one of them. Mm. Okay, what? Can we restart that real quick? Sorry. What? Better? <laughs> A lot of people want to enter Goda.
But hold it. You're not getting away. You well. Yep. All right, spill it. Where's your master? Tell me where he went. You mean Lord Jenna? Jenna, not Anakage? Lord Jenna's orders are obsolete. Hmm. I see. Thanks. Yami annihilates Anakage's ninja squad that had been planning to raid Gota. But she finds that the man in command of that squad is not Anakage, but his subordinate, Jenna Okyo. Unless this man was defeated, the threat to Gota would persist. Yo, Tesla with the raid! Welcome! Yami immediately works out a plan to assassinate Jenna Okyo. Welcome. Hope your stream is great. Uh, I don't click, I don't bring those. I bring it back. Back. Hmm. Yo, what's up, Tesla? All right, just like in Fatal Shadows. We're going to go all the way and not kill anyone so we get a Grandmaster. In order for you to get Grandmaster to kill guards, you need to kill at least three guards. Cannon, didn't you already time out Tesla once? I'm gonna be giving Tesla that sword too. Enjoy your stay in hell. Now, who's next? Huh? Oh, you're not up for a little fun. Let's just say that I'm not the most patient person right now. You're from the Zuma clan, aren't you? Jenna? My name is Jenna Sakyo. Your resemblance to your brother is uncanny. You will find that my skills are not as clumsy as Okio's. Just stand down. I don't have the time to waste on you. You really ought to reconsider your decision. That is, if you want to save Rikimaru. You could have mentioned that earlier, you know. I'll let this guy go crazy. He'll be crazy. Oh no, really? Please don't tell me the guard messed up my Grandmaster. <laughs> Ugh. Now, tell me where Rikimaru is. If I were you, I'd be more concerned about myself. Shut up and tell me. <laughs> ah. Fine. I'll shut up then. I expect a rematch when I see you in hell. I told you that I didn't have time to waste on you. Oh, 
Oh, this is how to Maru fight. Having defeated Jinna, Ayame successfully saves Gota from Crisis and finally finds out Rikimaru's whereabouts. Ayame immediately begins prepping to determine if that information is correct and to rescue Rikimaru. However, there is still much that she does not know. What was the inter entirety of Anekage's plot? She harbors an indescribable sense of uneasiness deep in her heart, as if she is still somehow dancing to Anakage's tune. Please give me a chameleon spell. Ah, uh, you're a dick. Rikimaru, wait! God. Ah, oh, come on, crouch button, stop. Does this guy turn at all? Like, at all does he turn? Wow, he does not. What? Whoops. See, the decoy was it doesn't even work. Ayame. Huh? Hey, Tatsuma. Ayame. Tatsuma? Yeah. Again? Why are you here? Ugh. God, I don't know how many times I got freaking revived. You tell me, Ayame. Tatsumaru? Tatsumaru? Is it really you? Uh -oh. Damn it! Ow. Why is this happening? Who's doing this? And why? Why were you? Rikimaru! Uh, Rikimaru? Rikimaru? It is you. What? What are you doing here? And you're wounded. Just now. But tomorrow was... The uh, Ayame. The mind's eye turned inward shall show the true path. Uh, my head. Ayame? Why are I was fighting? So Rikimaru was Tatsumaru all along. So that's it. Those words weren't for a spell that was put on you. It was a spell that was put on me. Anakage, it's payback time. Alright, let's finish this game. 
and then Shadow Assassins. And we're on our last game for the marathon. Having fallen fallen under Onikage's spell, Ayame ends up mortally wounding Rikimaru in battle. Ayame cannot forgive herself for that. It was not only Rikimaru's body that had been rent, but also an unseen part of Ayame for having wounded Rikimaru. She is beset by a desire to make Anakage pay for her dis dastardly ploy, I think that's it. as well as a fierce sense of guilt and anger for falling so easily for it and allowing him to use her. With all those emotions within her heart, Ayame sets out to settle this matter with Ana Anakage. This is why I saved my super shuriken. But I do need to spend time one day and unlock all these items because it would be very nice. Huh? Who's there? Show yourself. My kage, damn you. Where are you? Mwahahaha. This is just splendid. I really have a bad Where are you hiding? Face me, you coward. <laughs> I'm waiting for you, Ayame. You and I have so much to talk about. Damn it. Where did he go? Hmm. What's this? It's a map. Well, if he's looking for a fight, I'll be glad to give it to him. Okay. That's a huge blow dart gun, dude. It's like a thick. Answers on a Kage. I gotta work him on a Kage laugh. Yeah, such a nice voice. It would sound better if you put more anger into it. Shut up. I'm through with your riddles. Foolish. You think you stand a chance against me? My Kage, this time I'm going to finish what I started. This time, you're not getting away from me alive oh god don't push that button 
Alright, enjoy. By the way, Anakage is very cheap, that's why I use shurikens. planning sooner now I'm just making up for that mistake <laughs> oh I think it's a bit more than that every fiber of your being is just bursting with your heart's lust for rage and hatred <laughs> you really don't get it do you that's not going to work on me. There's no way you can play me. And you know why? Because I'm not like you. I almost feel pity for you, for what you are. <laughs> no fun. Really, Ugh! no fun at all. Still, you win this time. I look forward to our next game, Ayame. You're wounded. You should be resting. If I hadn't gotten hurt, none of this would have happened. Well, that's what you get for trying to be the hero, you know. Suppose so. Hey, I saw that smile. What, no smart little comeback this time? Nope. Let's head home. The princess is waiting for you. Kiku. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's head home. All right. Start some Shadow Assassin, shall we? Mm. Kind of the hated detention. Here we go. This is also on the PSP, but it's also on the Nintendo Wii. I do have it on the Nintendo Wii, but playing it on PSP is so much easier for me. Here we go. Last game. Poggers. Yes, the song is very totally different from the other Tenchu's, more, very less beats.
All right, there we go. The Yame story. Now, before uh, we start Yame story, we have to play a cutscene so you kind of understand what's going on, which would be this one. So you believe that someone is planning to start a war with my kingdom? Yes. I think we should prepare for that possibility, my lord. Hmm. Sakia, what do you advise? Uh, well, my lord, it's difficult to say without knowing. But just recently I heard that a fortune teller of remarkable accuracy set up shop in town. Perhaps we can approach this woman and ask her what lies in your future. Hmm. Very interesting. It seems the heavens have sent this woman to us right in our hour of need. Sekia, summon her at once. As you wish, Lord Goda. What is it? What's wrong? Tell us, what on earth did you see? No theatrics, just be out with it! Lord Goda, your good fortune's come to an end. All signs point to a tragedy most terrible that will befall you in the very near future. Hold your tongue! You wicked creature, don't you know who you are speaking to? And the rest is for Rikimaru's part, but that's pretty much what's going on with Ayame. She's chasing... Kikyu! Sadly, she only has four levels, and Rikimaru has six. So we're going to be playing all four Ayames, plus the last level of Rikimaru's, because you will see what happened with Ayame. But... Actually... And I'm gonna bring uh, her. This is her weapon, the Anibi. You know her double, double. Uh, uh, I forgot the actual name for her swords, but they actually have a name. Ayame! Stop! Oh. Here, damn it. Yeah, that back. Gotcha now. I have Ayame's unlockable costume, but uh let's uh let's, let's put it on. Because I'm pretty sure no one really likes this costume of Ayame's. There it is. Three. There we go. Play with the actual good costume. By the way, it doesn't change the cutscene, right? No. Better. Much better. This is their Tenchu 1 costume. Uh, wait, did I just... Huh? 
I think someone actually did come into the stream and said that they did like uh, Shadow Shadow Assassin. That's true. I mean, good on you. You know, people people like different things. Um, maybe it's just the only Tenchu game he played or she played, but. Uh, Got it installed on your PS3 now. Play casually. <laughs> Have fun! By the way, I can't run near them with my swords. You, I literally make noise if I run near them with my swords. Like you hear that clank, 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 clank. They actually get noticed. So, oh shit. Whoops. You, would you? We have trouble. Oh, let me show everyone the combat. So this is the combat. And yeah, that's her actual swords. Wait, did it blow up in front of my face? That kind of sucks. I was gonna say you should. By the way, I have a rock. Look what a rock can do. <laughs> Done. What the heck is that? Way to get across. Sucks. What? Damn. You won't go no further. Just it's over. Just ninja. You're a monster.
So you know how you can use a dog in the other Tinder games? Well, this one, you use a cat. Is my cat stuck? I knew that was going to be the wrong button. What console was this on? This is the PSP port, but it's also on the Nintendo Wii. But it's mainly Thank for the you. Nintendo you Wii. My life. Whatever. Can you just tell me if any other girls like you were taken? I'm not certain, but he did mention using the abandoned village to the north as a second hideout. Mm -hmm. I understand. Thanks anyway. <laughs> uh, this one, do you want to take my sword? Actually, you know what? Yeah, take it. This is the right place. Fudge. My sword made the noise. That sucks. I think I'm like, do you want to go nope. no further? Really? Really? Thank you. I was gonna say. Oh crap. Yeah, so apparently you can catch on fire with your own fire. And you just spam this and you're not on fire anymore. Smiley face.
Oh no, that's right. If I get my weapon now, it's actually... Really? My God, she's here! What are we gonna do? Oh, what was I thinking? These kidnappings and murders don't earn me a bloody cent! I have to kill that ninja hussy. Yeah, it's the only way out of this. <laughs> Basically, right? If I'd gone all out, you'd be dead now. 
Now start talking, you piss -mire. Yes, of course. I'll tell you everything you want to know. No, no, wait, wait, please. You're pretty polite for an insect. Now where is the princess? The princess? Probably being held at my residence. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he said. What he said? Him, the scary white-haired ninja. Oh, he's horrifying. He stole my own from me. Then he forced me to come into the village and ambush you. White hair, huh? Come on. I answered your questions. Now, now let me go. Please spare me. No can do. Why? Why do these chumps always seem so surprised? Behave yourself. That is, if you want to live. I'd rather die at your hand than be your bargaining chip. Just get it over with. Oh, wouldn't Daddy be devastated to have lost his only child? You don't know him. His people come first. His subjects are his children. True. But I'm sure your Kunoichi friend would shed a tear now, wouldn't she? She understands what I believe in. <laughs> she wouldn't shed any more blood. Runs, not on my behalf. <laughs> That's so hypocritical. It's almost disgusting. But you've got spirit, girl. I like that. And you're an important hostage. So I won't dispose of you. Not yet, anyway. Alright, let's make sure one thing that's not... Okay, we're good. Rikimaru betray us? Uh, he would never. Yet he does have white hair. Oh, if only Lord Goto were here. Uh, there are still so many unknowns in all this. Ayame, I need you to go to that merchant's estate at once. They might be holding the princess there. No, really? You think so? Never would have figured that one out on my own. Fine, I'll get Kiku for you. Don't think too hard while I'm gone. And do I have to really wait for this a little bit? I think I do. Yeah, I gotta wait. That's funny. These guys don't see me when I'm around the corner, but on the Wii version, they do. Like, you can't at all peek through the side like that. On the Wii version. Huh. looking at personality yeah they really changed Ayame at the very end that's odd if I get spotted one more time I will die that's what happens when you don't have a weapon
Should be popping up pretty soon. There he is. So with poison in this game, if you do something really cool, you destroy blocks. Her book. Yeah. 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 Can't help you, thick. Um, I'm gonna have to drop the kunais. That's a shame. Kill him, kill the one on the bridge, grab the extra smokes, and kill that one by the door. These guys here, these samurais, have higher hearing, higher vision. Sometimes, well, most of the time, just like that guy right there. If you move around them, they'll go, huh, and just stop. Like that. Ah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Watch. Dead. No. Yeah. Also plays like crap too. I got my two smokes back. This time, don't miss. Don't miss. Do not. Wait, is the other the other summary is actually? What? Hmm. You guys are really being annoying. I can like, smell. Stop. Why are you trying to pick him up, Ayame? I hate ninja. I already have speed run this one. It's not really great. Very ugh. Crap. 
Okay. I even tried to unlock all the like new game stuff. It's not really making much of a difference. It's just like new game docks. <laughs> Because I'm only running fast because of these shoes, and you get these shoes when you beat the game. So, on like new game, you just run so. I don't even know what that is that's on the floor. Nothing personal. Does Yami do a triple self kill? No, I think it's a tricky tomorrow. Yeah, it's almost over. Nothing personal. We got huh. this level, one more, and then we have to do Rikimaru's, so you know what happens to Ayame. Hmm? One, two, three, go! <laughs> So normally you would have to go down there, go down the dungeon, run all the way around, unlock all these doors to find a key. But luckily, what I learned from speedrunning, just do that. And we save this this poison. The uh, there should be yes we thought. There should be two of you guys. Some wrestling moves for you guys. You guys enjoyed? Nothing huh. <laughs> yeah, so apparently, as uh, a Yame sent you one outfit, she's got her crack showing, so. Yeah. Sadly, in the cutscene, she's in her default skin. I am a. I'm getting you out of there. Hold on. Wait, you're in danger out there. Shh. I'm fine. Just trust me. Uh. Wait, he. Yeah, he's looking for the camp. Nothing personal. Huh. Nothing personal. 
Okay, I need to. Uh, sucks, cause that's a ghost maker. Ah, grab it. Screw it. And we'll grab this one as well, which will be three. And because it's poison. What? Wait, no, that's gas. And we're done. Kiku. doing you all right Fine, thank you. And you? He'd need a bigger bomb to blow me up. <laughs> a much bigger bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Rikimaru, he must have his reasons. Just have faith. Suspicion begets only grief. Yeah, I know. Sorry I worried you. Nonsense, dear. I'm just delighted to see you safe again. Oh, my. Those garments are in tatters. Let's get you some nice, clean clothes and uh, some tea. All right, all right. One thing at a time. <sighs> Something the matter? It's Ricky Maru. He is the traitor. I know. I am not sure of his motives. But even as we speak, he is moving about the castle, slaughtering men without mercy. I fear the princess is not secure within these walls. I know a place where she can go and hide away. Follow these directions. Take the princess there and lay low. Understood. Relax. No one's gonna hurt Kiku while I'm watching her back. Mm, she is in good hands. Is something wrong? Oh, oh. Uh, no, no, uh, everything is absolutely fine. Uh, my lady, I must ask something of you. Uh, what's going on? Uh, Ricky Mata. You're safe. Ayame, can I ask you something? Not if you expect me to answer you. Uh, uh, yeah. Princess, right there. What's this supposed to be? And who are you? Tachibana Hyakabe. I serve Lord Goda. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you back off? Please don't make me resort to violence. I'll make this quick.
well. Like I said, they have really good vision. Rain is so good. Okay, I think we're good to go. There's one more guy right here. I was gonna say, you shouldn't be like walking all over here. Whoops. Are you serious? Am I close enough? Was weird. I'm gonna make you cry. I'll grind you in a dust. Nothing 
You in a dot. Damn it, I jumped too early. You will go no further. wrong. Drenching the earth with your sinful blood. Die! Ricky Maru! Ayame, stay back. My, my, my. I'd say there's one too many actors for this stage. 
I couldn't agree more. Your final curtain is long overdue. Oh, you're very witty, aren't you? You forget that this little production is being directed by me. For the crimes you've committed, I should kill you right now. <laughs> if you want to talk about crimes, let's start with you. You'd slay your own allies to complete your precious mission. You're a murderer. Slaughtering whomever you like and calling it justice. Wrath of Heaven is nothing more than a sham. Heaven could never be so wrathful. You talk of honor, but I know better. People like you defile this world and bring it nothing but sadness. I've seen enough death to know the truth. With my wise master's help, I will rid the world of murderers like you. He and I will make it pure again. I swear to you, by this hand of mine, you will die today! Let me see you squirm. Yeah. It's burning! How could he do this? Sakia, that bastard double-drossed me, Akimaru. Sakia has completely lost his mind. He tricked us. He fooled us into leaving the castle, seized it while we were away, and set it ablaze. You must go. Hurry! Sakia must be punished for this. Akimaru. Yes. All right, last level. Now we end this once and for all. What? I gotta wait for their bodies to stop burning.
I had a good jump too. I'll destroy you. Of course, why wouldn't there be an out of bounds in this game? Well, that's a first. Huh, well, good good time to actually explore this. Well, this is the first time I've actually been out of bounds in this game. Huh. It looks like shit. Is there a way to get back in? Uh-oh. I don't think there's a way back in. Wait. I think I just teleported myself. Oh my god, please tell me this works. You're a monster! Yeah, I'm fucking back in, aren't I? Yep! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny! That's funny! Alright! Well, hope everyone enjoyed that. That was the first time that ever happened to me. 
Is there a way to do it again? <laughs> uh, I think Rikamaru kind of clipped into the wall because when uh, when you're when you're up on the ceiling up there and you're like you know crouched and all, you press X and you could jump on the next ledge. So I'm taking a guess. Rikamaru just pushed himself being out. Oh my god. That was great. I'll clip it, but I gotta first, before I even send that clip to the Tension community, I wanna send that mod that you sent to first, so I add it. Don't you even touch the fire. I made a little sticky note. So right after stream, I'm going to send those mods and then clip that. Or if anyone could clip it for me, please. It's probably a bit too late, I think. All right. We are on the last level. Poggers. A noise. Uh, yeah. Mulligan. I'm not supposed to make noise. There is something funny I can show you guys. I can show you the strongest weapon in this game. The strongest. The ultimate Omega weapon. I still can't believe I clipped into the wall like that. Fishing rod. Yeah. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. I want to show you guys, damn it. Mm -hmm. Drop the grenades, wait for this guy over here. Thank you. Thank you. Damn it, I'm gonna do it again. Ah, oh, screw you, Samurai. Wait, what? What's going on? Is he gonna run over here? Okay, guy. Thank you. Jeez. Was that really that hard? All right, I can drop the thing. All we have to do is fight on Akage and we're done.
Be back real quick. Princess. No, you all right. Riki Maru. I'm all right. I haven't suffered any injuries. I'm relieved. But your father is waiting. We must hurry. <laughs> but how? you is there Sekia. or should we say and so we meet again rikimaru onikage well rikimaru what do you think of my work i went through a great deal of trouble to create this little farce and i did it all for you i do hope you enjoyed playing along you must have liked it considering all the people you got to kill along the way and all in the name of a just cause. <laughs> ah, I see I've struck a nerve. Your hypocrisy makes me sick. I have so much hatred I don't know what to do with it all. But I'm certain about one thing. I am going to relish making you suffer for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Save your speeches for hell. I don't envy you. Yes. And GG's. That is it. Konikage, I'll make an we are done with the marathon. I'm not killing you for some just cause. I'm doing it because I want to. I'll gladly have your blood on my hands. <laughs> you are too funny, Rikimaru. <laughs> Of course you disregard the hollow justice Goda preaches. It goes against everything you really are. As certain as the spider was made to weave her web. As certain as the bird was made to journey across the sea. You, my old friend, were made purely for murder. Kiku! Coward! Release her this instant! <laughs> Rikimaru, I can't witness any more fighting. Saddens my heart too much. I beg you, put an end to this. Do whatever you have to do. Oh, isn't that so precious? Ricky Morrow, you hear what she's saying? Give in to your urges. Cut through her to get to me. Because Thank you for the GG's, Jordan. GG's to you as well for uh, sticking around. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. You sick monster! I know about your sadness. It conceals your spirit like a cloak. But you endure the guilt. Because that is the path you have chosen, Rikimaru. Do it. You must. Don't. You can't, Rikimaru! Are the 
those tears? Kiku! I always knew. Kiku! You had a kind heart. And you showed it to me. Thank you. seen a more worthless piece of human waste. Did you honestly think I'd let you kill me without taking my hostage? You're dumber than I thought. And what did it all accomplish? Nothing! My soul will live on. My hatred will always be with you. And I will return. You can never escape me. <laughs> And that's the ending of the Tetsu series. Kind of took a plot twist there at the end, didn't it? With Ayame being a uh, sister to Kikyo, to now Rikimaru killing her. Just bring kick you back to know I did like it was Tuesday. Hey, true, J. Dot. That is true. Yep, Jordan. Kick you unfortunately died. That is the end of what happens to the Tentu series. As far as Ayame, where was the justice in this? He's right. I'm a killer. Nothing more. My soul will live on. My hatred will always be with you. Ricky Mark. And, and so, so we meet again. again. And that is it. Ayame gets possessed by Anakage. Sad ending. Very much sad. Uh, internet? What? Well, I'm kind of glad the internet's acting like this, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately. Hold on. I'm gonna wait for the internet to just cool down for a minute. Yeah, unfortunately, this is canon. That's what sucks about it. All right. So, hope you guys enjoyed the Tenchu Marathon. Next Friday, we might be doing Rikimaru. We do count it smooth. Sorry, but 
there's no Tenchu trilogy that I see, so we see Tenchu 4. So this is the end of the Tenchu series with Kikyu dying. So we can't just say we don't count it. Can't do that, man. It sucks, but it is what it is. We go from Tenchu 2 becoming an Azuma Ninja and Ayame becomes a sister to Kikyu to Princess Kikyu dying from Rikimaru. Mik Rikimaru. <clears throat> there are some, well, the only Tenchu that I'm missing is Tenchu Z, but that's Rikimaru's story. Uh... Yeah. Or, wait, there's Dark Secrets, the Nintendo DS version. So I gotta kinda adventure that. I haven't touched that one. It was awesome. You're very welcome, Jordan. Yeah, the ending, the ending hurts. That's what sucks about this marathon is that the ending always ends at a sour note. But... It's what they kind of did to the series, and it's sad. So I'm going to look for someone to host. Hope you guys have a safe and a wonderful day. Let me see who is on. Well, go and host Zeal. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll host. I host, I mean, maybe tomorrow I'll stream. Maybe. Uh, usually Sundays I don't stream. Saturdays I kind of do. So if I don't, hope you guys have a safe and wonderful weekend. If so, hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you for the GGs. Cheers, Seven Ricks. And take care, guys. the game is on every single disc like an f7 it's so that the whole game is on all three discs and the reason why there are actually three discs in the first place is because the fmvs are huge so you can that, that's why you can also skip things easy like technically if you could go from from your first visit in uh, in Junon to the underwater reactor, you could do that. The game would even properly upgrade everything, no issue. Even though, what's it? Even though that's CD2 stuff, late CD2 stuff. Yo, Greenhorn, dude, thank you so much for the nice host.